Hello everyone, I am back with more Guild Wars 2, and today we are going to get that fucking fish tonic. Someone, uh, someone here, it's like they're taunting me. See, now I wish I had the, uh, let me eat them, hold on. I'm gonna eat them. I ate them. Anyways. Because I think I have enough honeycomb. And yeah, I know that it's like the same stream title as last time, but that's because it actually is going to happen. We actually are going to... All I need is karma. Hey, uh, Floralay Bloodwood. What's up? Welcome to my stream. Yeah, this here is the goal. Oh, but some other stuff happened off stream that was cool. Oh, I like this guy's look a lot. Somehow that hair with this outfit is just so perfect. And the colors are also perfect. Yeah, and it looks like neon. This guy looks awesome. Hold on a second. Let me hide chat so I can take a screenshot without getting doxxed by the fucking file directory. <laughs> yeah, this dude looks sick. So yeah, um, I am still gonna be doing side content and stuff. I think my plan... Is, like, I don't know off the top of my head the, like, best way to get karma, but... I know that, like... Oh yeah, right, I was saying. Stuff I did off stream. I opened a coding catch and I got this, which is really exciting and then i also like complete the mastery thing so now i have this oh my god these npcs won't shut up but look i can be neko i can already be neko but now i can be war neko <laughs> Oops, not that. What? You can't jump? That's really weird. Like, I can understand if you can't do, like, all the war claw moves, but, like, you can't even just do a regular jump. It's really strange. I guess that's in map chat, isn't it? Oh well. <laughs> Alright. Um, right, so I don't know the best way to get karma fast, but I just know from my own experience that you can like do to quaddle. Probably just doing bosses in general, because I found that doing events here give you, like, a fucking paltry amount of karma. Like, it'll give you, like, you know, 700 or something. But there's also other stuff to do. Like, I have all these, um, collections I can complete. Um, and actually... Oh, this one! This one I accidentally did the story, or the step for this off stream. But you can just talk to him again and he'll just say the same thing again. It's basically what I was waiting on is you have to do this event to guard the bridge. And the event actually failed, but it still counted, so... I think, yeah, here. Best way to get karma is do hearts and events. Yeah, that's probably true. Just seemed like doing... The events just randomly um, on the Janther maps, like, didn't give anything, hardly. So I might just, like, do stuff till Tequadal, and then- Because I always found that Tequadal just gives you, like, a massive amount of karma. So I did the bridge event, even though it failed. Oh. Oh. She really sent you? My flowering meadow? I must- Oh, I must send her something back. Wildflowers do not bloom here in the ice, but perhaps there is something else. 
Oh, I need ice. But not just any ice. For to survive the journey, it must be special. Can you... Can you bring me shards of corrupted ice? Now, I must stay here and defend the sanctuary. When I first saw this, I'm like, he wants to send her corrupted ice? Like, evil, like, dragon magic ice? But we're bringing it to him, so maybe he's just gonna use the ice to make something else that won't be, like, evil. Wait a minute. Where exactly do I get this? Wait, I don't need to talk to him again. There's a- it's in here. Shards of corrupted ice. Uh, do they just mean, like, the regular, like, item? Or- because, I mean, I know different renowned hearts have, like, corrupted ice shards that you can, like, interact with, but they usually just break them. He uncorrupts it? Maybe. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Let me see. This isn't- isn't- I'm pretty sure corrupted ice shard is also just, like, an actual crafting item. Quest item is laying on the ground somewhere. Oh, that's right! Yeah, no, you're right, because that's how it was with, like, all the other... Well, it was for that other one. Well, I'll just see. Sharper still. Shard. We'll just see. Oh, actually, before you do that... I have so much to do. Let me put this away, because I do have a character I think I'm going to put that on. Actually, I have like a couple characters, including the one I'm going to make. Not telling where- no, that's good, because... I want to figure this stuff out all by myself. So I'm guessing this won't work. No, okay. I mean, it's funny, because it is like... Well, I guess that's not a corrupted ice shard, that's just a corrupted oh, shard. Well, I guess I'll just wander around till I find it. Um... Because I know one of these has a thing where one of the things is you destroy, like, corrupted ice crystals. That might be at the other sanctuary. I kind of get them all confused. They all kind of lead into each other. But I'll just wander around till I find it, I guess. Even though I don't really like this map that much. But I think I mostly just hate that one, like, dredge suit. Renowned Heart is, like, one of my least favorites in the entire game. Yeah, I don't think it's over here. It's, like, that one with the dredge suit. The suit is so weak. And, like, every, uh, like, action you do with it feels so little renown. And it's, like... You have to do things in this suit. You can't just, like, kill enemies. It's, like, literally one of my least favorite in the entire game. And I always, like, dread that when I'm doing, like, map completion. So then it kind of just makes me not like this map as a whole. Which is too bad, because this is actually a cool map. Like, I really like the northern part of it. Like, where I am, basically. So even though there's a lot of different, like, ice and snow maps, I feel like the northern part of this map is it just has like a really unique like atmosphere that none of the other maps really have. Like I know it's not anywhere near like the no most northern part of Tyria, but it still has this very like arctic north pole like it's just ice everywhere kind of feel. I don't know. I just think it's cool. Oh, I can't go here, apparently. Oh, I don't think this is one you're supposed to be able to go on top of. Warn the others. Find help. Wagons will not give in easily. Okay, so that's not it. I screwed. Quickly. Wagons must hide. Alright, uh Yeah, I mean it's probably not here. I mean, that's what's hard, is because it, like, there's so many places that have corrupt ice, it could be, like, every- anywhere. Oh, I think I meant to go here. Wow, there's a lot of- I mean, I have the shield thing for my chat, so it's, like, filtering them, but there's, like, a lot of- There's been a lot of, like, view bots lately, or viewer bots. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think it's here either. Well, I don't want hints yet, but I might eventually. I'm just trying to think if there is, like... Well, I know there's, like, corrupted ice things here sometimes. And that's what's hard, is, like, it could be anywhere, because there's so many places on the map that have, like, corrupted ice stuff. Is that just... Yeah, it's just the guy I talked to. And, like, maybe I could get a hint from looking at the renowned hearts, but... Or since I complete the Renown Hearts, it's not gonna tell me, like, what I need to do. Hey, Zide, what's up? Thanks for coming. I was kind of thinking, like, this area? This is literally called a Corrupted Ice Shard. But, I don't know if this is it. It's so nice, like, even though I think this is supposed to be a level 80 map, like, it's still nice going to, like, Corteria, because it's like, oh, everything dies so easy. <laughs> Compared to, like, all the expansion maps. So it's probably not here, either. Did tell me important detail I've forgotten. Why well, you said it was like on like on the ground somewhere. I'm guessing it's like some of those other quests where it's just like something on the ground that you collect. Excuse a moment? No, I don't. Yes? Oh, thank you for acting like you had an event to tell me about when you didn't. Right, no need to kill or break anything. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, I'm just trying to think if it would just... Like, Army thinks it would be near where the guy is. Oh, isn't this also the place... Damn it. Because this map also has that, like, cave with the ice elementals and, like, uh, like, s some, like, magical stones or something. Maybe I'll give that place a try. Like I've said before, that is something I actually do like about these kinds of, um... These kinds of collections. So they kind of just like test your knowledge of Corteria, which I think is cool. But sometimes it's so vague, it could be like anywhere. Also, I don't know if this even is where that cave is. I thought it was. I'm thinking it's not. I don't remember. I might be thinking of something else, but we'll see. And this is kind of one of those things where I'm trying to figure out like how this fits into like the the timeline of the game because it's like okay, so obviously this collection takes place, obviously, after all the dragons have been killed. So it's like... Do you go in here? No. So, so it's like, okay, but Corrupted Ice still exists, so is it like... The ice is just still around after the dragons died? I mean, I guess that happened with, like, the Brand Crystals. Now that can always be kind of a gray area when you go to the core maps, because the core maps are always locked in time of, like, the personal story. 
like time of the game but then like stuff that takes place after that also happens on the maps that's what i think is so funny about Cassex hills because they have like events from like all different like times of the story happening you have like scarlet attacking you have like or no not on that map but you know there's like the tower and then there's like well, actually, I don't remember all the maps that different things can happen in. But you have, like, the Awakening attacking. You can have, like, Scarlet's minions attack. You can have, like, the Rifts. Obviously, there's, like, the Cryptus Rifts. and But then there's, like, those, um, like, Brand Rift things. And I can't remember, like, all the things that can happen on one map. And then Cast 6 is kind of like stuck in like Living World Season 1, I guess. But then I think there's also some Season 2 happening. I don't know, it's just weird when you start to think about it. <laughs> oh, I know. Maybe I should go to where you fight Jormag. Even if he's not here right now. And then you also have like more drum in like some places. It's just kind of funny. Essex is just kind of like. Oh, and then there's the thing with the um, uh, the wizard's tower or um, you know the uh town of Garenhof. Essex is just like a time fuck basically, but I think that's kind of funny. I have answered. I mean, this looks like this would be the place to go, but... Because even well, even Jormag, even when he's not here, it's still, like, corrupted looking. I'll find it eventually. Hopefully I don't have to scour, like, literally the entire map. Yeah, I thought I would do this stuff until Tequaddle in like a couple hours, and then I'll do that, and then hopefully I'll have enough karma. So I mentioned this before, but basically I want to get the flopping fish tonic because I want to make a Norn that follows the salmon spirit. Yeah, that cave I was thinking of, is that even on this map? Oh, we should we could go here too. This also has like a lot of corrupted stuff. like so many NPCs in this game. Especially like most of almost all of the male Norn like random NPCs. I'm pretty sure they're voiced by Crispin Freeman because it sounds just like him. Of course I like because he voices Kaito from Judgment. He sounds like they they all sound <laughs> they all sound like Kaito. Uh anyways though. All right, well, it wasn't in there, so... It still took me, like, years, though, to, like, for that to click, that that's who that was voicing them. But it's like, once you hear it, you can't unhear it. <laughs>
Maybe it's underwater. That would be really annoying, but I guess that's like the one place- well, not the one place, but it's a place I haven't checked yet. I, I know there can be some, like, ice stuff down here, I think. Now, I was thinking about how they've, like, been kind- basically, like, upgrading the mounts over time. And I was thinking about, like, oh, it started with Skyscale and then they did Warclaw, but come to think of it, Skimmer being able to go underwater is also, like, a massive, like, upgrade that happened later on. And that would be kind of cool if they end up, like, upgrading all of the mounts. To just make them more useful. I feel like Springer at this time, especially if you have Skyscale, is basically like completely useless. I mean, obviously there'll be some like adventures in Renowned Hearts that like make you use Springer, but other than that, like, like there's nothing Springer can do that other mounts can't do better, basically. I don't care about this event. And also, Jackal, I think, is, like, aesthetically one of the coolest mounts, and it has a lot of really cool mount skins. Then it also, it, like, is just kind of useless. Like, it can use sand portals, but there aren't even that many sand portals in the game, especially outside of, uh, the desert, the crystal desert. So it just feels kind of useless. And then, like, the one thing it had over Raptor is that it could, like, go uphill more easily because it was like shadow stepping while Raptor would just kind of like get stuck. But now Warclaw basically has like really similar movement to Jackal. So now it's kind of like out outclassed by Warclaw too. I would love for them to give Jackal some kind of upgrade to make it like worth something. <laughs> And Jackal also has like a cool like lore around it. Because before Warclaw, it was like the one mount that wasn't like a normal animal. It was like a sand spirit or something. I think what it was wasn't it like sand that was like animated by Jin magic or something. Something really cool like that. And there's so many good jackal skins, including ones that I actually have, but then I like never use them. Wait, where else? Like even Griffin is still useful. Because even though Skyscale kind of replaces a lot of its mobility, it still has the thing where if you're in a high up area. Oh look, I found this something. Is this the thing? Oh no, that's not the thing. Oh, it tricked me. That's not fair. Or is it? Maybe it is. I'm gonna give it to him and see. I'm like, is that actually the thing or is that just like... Because I, I feel like something like that wouldn't be a bundle. I feel like this is just something you can use as like a weapon, but I guess we'll find out. But yeah, Griffin, you can still, like, do the, like, dive bomb and glide really fast across the map if you're up high enough. I still use that move a lot, so... Not that I wouldn't want Griffin to get some other upgrade as well. Well, I really want with Skimmer, but I don't think they'll do it. I want to be able to fish from Skimmer. I want to be able to just, like... Like, fish with Skimmer and get all the, like, fishing bonuses you get with the skiff, but just have it on Skimmer. Is he in the right place? No, it's, it's down here. I'm guessing this is, like, not the thing. Well, I'm still holding it, so maybe. But we're gonna see. That would be kind of annoying to have it be a bundle, but I guess it's not- it's not really that hard to just bring it over. Is this what you want? Oh, I did! You return with the ice? Thank you. Or thank you, I must prepare something now. What happened between you two? We were little more than cubs when we met in the lands between here and Janzia. 
She had journeyed east and I west, each in search of food in a barren year. We pursued oh, the same heart, but we only realized when our spears struck it down at the same time. We hunted together for the rest of spring. Aww. But that is all. The lowlanders would not have welcomed me, and those that do not follow Coda cannot live in the sanctuary. Interesting. Why wouldn't the lowlanders welcome them? I mean, they welcomed us. I mean, they were like kind of skeptical at first, but like they still welcomed us, even though we were these like weird like sky wizards. I would think like. A fellow Coden, even if he w was from like a different culture, like they would still welcome him. I don't know. But that does answer some questions because I was kind of like, oh, the Lowland Coden not only were existing the whole time, but they even were like interacting with the rest of Tyria, even though we literally never saw them until now. Like, that, that actually kind of makes sense. They're interacting with other. Odin, which were also kind of reclusive a little bit, and I'm guessing it was kind of like around here where we don't even go. So th I, that that is believable to me that they like met each other. It is done, but I must ask a favor of you. Can you take this letter and this sculpture? Aw, that sounds cute. Yeah, so hopefully he made it not corrupt, or maybe it's just not dangerous anymore without Jormag. My leg has swollen from a wound, and I cannot make the journey now. I'll bring it to her for you, then. Aw, buddy. <laughs> Is this someone from this- from the chat? Whatever. Um, they- they lived here, that's right. I'm glad you told me that it's something you pick up off the ground, because it being a bundle is kind of counterintuitive, I guess. Because it's kind of far away, and they don't usually do that with, like, collections, I feel. Like, usually it'd be something that goes into your inventory, like all this other crap I have. This crap that looks like other items. Well, this actually is another item. Oh, cute. Oh, shit! Wait, uh-oh. I think I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> oh no. I- okay. Because I was thinking like... Oh, this reminds me in some of the Animal Crossing games when like... They'll give you an errand to deliver like a letter or a gift to someone. And you can like open it to see what it is, but then like they know that you did it and they'll get mad. But I didn't think they would put that in the game. Uh-oh. I think I fucked it up. <laughs> well, we might as well read it, since we already opened it. Flowering Meadow, it has been so long, and I was certain you had forgotten me. I have not forgotten you, and I could not if I tried. On many nights, the memory of your face is my only comfort. I like to watch the stars at night as well, but in the summer, the sun does not set at all for many days. That's kind of weird, since it doesn't even look that far north. Like... All things considered- well, I- no, I, I guess it is kind of far north compared to, like, the rest of the map. I don't know. Actually, come to think of it, is it even that farther north? It's actually- it's- it's- it's more southern than this is, but whatever. Um... Life continues in the sanctuary, though it is often difficult. There are many dangers, but we find safety in our numbers and our strength of will. There is food and warmth and shelter here, but there are no flowers. I hope that this will do instead. Altitude is relevant too? I guess that makes sense. I have spent many hours hoping for a way to be reunited with you. 
I will journey to the ends of Tyria and to the realms beyond, if you only ask it of me. Until then, I will be here among the ice always thinking of you. I mean, that's nice, but I feel- I feel dirty that I read that. And look, it consumed the item, so like... Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gone. I did not know that would happen. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be bad. You've returned. Did you find him? Did he get my letter? He did, and he sent you something also. Wait, so does she just not get the letter? Oh no. Wait. Oh no, that's really sad. Wait, so does she just not get the letter and she doesn't know about it? Oh, my sweet sky, this is beyond beautiful words. He really made- unless this is talking about it. He really made this sculpture for me? He wanted to come himself, but his leg is injured. He's hurt? Is he okay? Okay, I guess you just is act like I didn't do anything him? wrong. He needs medicine, Wayfinder. No, 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 this won't do at all. I need to make him some medicine. Can you gather some things for me? Need these herbs, I do. And honey, that's very important. I Bring guess it. I didn't no, fuck I it up at all. Okay. I mean, to be fair, most of these collection items, you can just... Like, they don't actually... Like, the actual item in your inventory doesn't do anything. It's all about, like, if it's checked off on the achievement. Like, all this stuff, I could literally... I could probably just delete it, and it wouldn't do anything. But I still, like, I was not expecting that to happen with the letter. And, like, the game doesn't even act like I did anything wrong, so okay. Honey from the honey gathering event. I feel like there's a lot of collections that use this. There's at least one other one. Healing herbs from the heal the wounded wolf pup or heal the wounded fawn. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, I thought it would be like Animal Crossing when they like get mad at you. Dude, I wish we could see the sculpture. That's kind of like what I was excited to see, but oh well. Maybe we will later. Oh, you know what else I can do this stream? Because there's so much to do in this game, I keep forgetting about it. I still have not touched the, um... I still have not touched the homestead since, like, the- the story. The- the mandatory story part. But I still really do want to decorate it. I mean, you heard me talk about Animal Crossing. That's because I am a big Animal Crossing fan, so any kind of, like, interior decorating, I'm sure I'll get, like, super into. What happens if you, like, interact with these before you- the event even starts? I mean, will- will even say anything or just, like, nothing? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised, lady. I mean, think of all the other stuff, like the, like, globs of- globby goo or whatever it's called. <laughs> It's actually funny to think about. Well, I guess technically it's not in our pockets and like bags, but still. I assume they're talking about Ardent Gale, and it's like. Well, Val Raven did, like, kill her child, so I mean, I can't really blame her. <laughs> oh hey, there's a thing here. I am. 
You actually have something for me that I didn't already do anything with? I oh, that's another thing. Off stream, I found another one of those animals that you need for the, like, the heist or whatever. <laughs> I found where they were, but I didn't want to do it off stream. I think we need to kill that, because that's like a bee. Get over here. Was that even contributing, or is it only the ones with the sword above them? So that would be, like, really dumb. I guess we'll see. No, that doesn't even count. I hate when there's, like, events like this, but then you have to, like, wait around for more stuff to spawn. It's like all this stuff is not even spawned at once. I like our outfit, that's cute. Also, like, this hair style with this color, like, it looks really good. Like, it, it almost looks ombre, like, when people have that thing where it's, like, black or, like, dark near the roots and then it's, like, kind of ombre. It looks really good. Yeah, that's a cool hairstyle. I think- is that a Norn-only hairstyle? Because I'm- I don't think I remember seeing that hairstyle for humans. I could be wrong, though. Kinda hate- like, it's- uh, like, I kind of- there's some, like, race-specific hairstyles that are so cool, and on one hand, I can kind of understand, especially, like, Silvari, like, only be able to have, like, plant hair, for example, but there's some other hairstyles that, like, Char and Asura have that's just, like, I really wish humans could have those. Especially since, like, human hairstyles, like, kinda suck. <laughs> but whatever. Oh, that's not the thing. Or the thing. Uh, it just says get honey from- so I'm like, okay, do I have to, like, wait for the event to finish? Do I have to give this honey to the NPC? Or, like, some other thing I need to do? I don't know. But, you know, this is happening, so I guess I'll do that. I'm so glad you can use, like, the glider skills. Alright, this one's always annoying to reach. It feels like it should be so easy. There we go. Bob, Ibuza, e Ibuza Beth, <laughs> and Buzz Linda. And we're not gonna reach that. Damn it. Whatever, I'll just give this to her to start. Yeah, maybe you, you have to wait for the event to complete. I don't know. So I, I don't want to, like, miss it somehow. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. That's always so annoying. Oh my god! Well, now this swiftness is probably just gonna mess up my jumps. Oh 
Oh my god, like it's not even hard. Like, I don't know what my problem is. I mean, part of it's the game's problem, but... Like, I am, like, totally used to the jumping controls in this game by now, but, like... I would not call them, like, good jumping controls. Not compared to, like, actual platformers. But, it, like, it's consistent enough that I'm just, like, used to it. I love that this uh, speech bubble is like blocking my view. That's really great. Hey, fuck that, let's go over here. Actually, do I- is this what I need? No, I think I had this one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, that's different. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, well, I'm probably not gonna get any more than this. I mean, I, I don't think they would make you get all of them for the collection. Look at you go! The speed! The moxie! I'll try talking to this guy, but I don't think that'll make a difference for the collection. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. It'll probably be the same in that other event. You just have to complete it. Actually, while I'm here... I remember... Oh no, I think it's here is where the, like, wolf cave is. The wolf den. Let's see, I don't think the deer event is up. I know it's, like, around here somewhere, but I don't see it anywhere. Oh, it might be that one, actually. The problem is, though, like, you really can't do this solo. I mean, maybe you can fail the event and still get it, but... That's the problem with, like, these kinds of events, if you try to solo them. Like, even if you're really strong and you can, like, not die, you can't, like, prevent the bond from dying, so... I don't know if anyone else will come, though. Yeah, I know it's like Monday, and it's like in the afternoon, so I know there's probably like not as many people on right now, but... I doubt anyone would have this in like LFG, but I guess we might as well check. That's not even on the right map. Yeah, this is an annoying achievement because it's like, it only happens during the meta. It's not really like directly related to the meta and it happens like while the boss fight is happening. So usually people don't do it. I, I don't think anyone is coming. We'll just see. We'll just see if we can, like... Like, if we can't do it, maybe at least, like, it'll still count even if the event fails? I don't know. It's just like one of those things where you can't, like... 
Like, one person can't kill the enemies and get the herbs and everything. Especially with these fuckers that make these, like, massive AoEs that just, like, kill everything. Get out of here. But, you know, maybe if I start doing it, more people will show up if they see the event is, like, active. I don't know. Probably not, though. Make haste, you must. The child will be lost. Oh, I know that, dude. Yeah, see, and now there's like another one over here. It's just not something one person- Oh nice, someone else came, that's good. Yeah, even just having like two people I think can be enough to be honest. Maybe. Toad killer dog. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean. They mean toad like frogs or toad like from Mario. Yeah, nice. See, even just having, like, one other person, like, makes this doable. Nice. Definitely Mario's Toad, yeah. There's like a couple other people here. That's, that's something I found with group events. Sometimes the only way. Britney Speared! I love that. It's like sometimes the way you get people to like help with the event is to like just start it. And then people are like, oh, people are actually doing this, so I guess I'll do it too. Hannibal the First. <laughs> God, I hate that AoE. It's so dumb. Especially since there's like achievements associated with this event. People are like more willing to do it. Snack party, what's up? Sounds like Aspenwood in DBS, yeah. Yeah, we definitely got this now, so that's good. The thing I did with the letter, I'm kind of wondering if I hadn't opened it to read it, would you just not get to ever see it? I don't know. It probably, like, stays in your inventory even if you give it to her. I don't know. Yay! And let's pat it again even though we don't need to. Come to 
think of it. Don't they still have some keys that I never used? Because I remember I had some Black Lion keys. I'm trying to remember. I remember I was thinking about saving them to open them on stream, but then I was also like, I don't want to wait. But I don't remember if I actually ended up opening them or not. Alright, let's go back to that person. You've brought the ingredients! Here, I'll mix them. Please hurry and take it to him. I will. I feel like this- I, feel, I kind of feel like this collection is just like... A way to get people to spend a bunch of gold on waypointing. <laughs> right? Oh, this person looks sick. Fears of the Raven. Sora Sparrow Soul. Oh, they actually look really cool. Anthem Phoenix Backwing, or Wings Backpack. This actually looks really good, because I've made, like, a Raven-themed Norn. But, like, this looks better than what I made. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it helps when you have actual, like, bird-themed armor. Oh man! I hate when, like, you're trying to make a character with a certain look, and then someone just does the exact thing, but better. Because then it's like, well, what's the point? It's like, you know, if I copy them, then I'm copying them. But if I don't copy them, then it's just, like, inferior. Don't WayP run maps? You mean, like, run all the way there? Because I don't want to do that. Oh man. This person looks so much better than mine. Maybe I will just rip it off and then just like... But I was also doing like a black and green color scheme because she was Necro. Yeah, I know it saves gold. And obviously there's other things I could do, like go to like certain cities for free and go from there, but I don't want to. I mean, it's not like I'm hurting for gold. Um, actually, I will at least do this, because I do kind of want to look at some stuff in my bank. I mean, I've said- and I've- I've said this before, at least Anet does have a way to, like, take gold out of the system. Like, you're just giving gold to NPCs, so it's basically getting deleted, because, like, obviously you can indirectly buy gold with real money. And if you didn't have some way to, like, regulate it by, like, getting rid of the excess gold, you would have, like, a Gaia Online situation with inflation. <laughs> yeah, see, I do have some keys. Yeah, let's open some chests since we're here. And since, um... You don't ask me why I'm holding on to sand. No, don't put it there. Because there is stuff in here that I genuinely really want. And the stuff in here is actually really good as well. See if we can actually get something good. Well, wardrobe unlock can be good. Okay, I mean, that's not terrible, I guess. All skins have an equal chance of dropping. Skrit will collect just about everything at least once. Okay. Really? I got a die from a wardrobe unlocked? That's like- so much to do. I didn't know you could even get dies from that. I would say that's lame, but I'm hoping at least it's like a good die. It better at least be like a, an exotic die. World Ender. I mean, it might be nice, because it's exotic after all. I mean, it's- it's a blue die. It's like, that's nice, but it's like, is there- it does- 
Is this blue really any better than any of the other blues? It actually does look nice. Actually, you know, it probably is like a nice kind of slightly purplish blue. It probably has a nice like texture to it. Actually, looking at this though, that kind of makes me want to like make this like actually purple. Cause right now it's it has the um yeah that would probably actually look good. Where's a uh, cobalt black light? It actually like looks good that way. Um, but it needs to be a little bit bluish. Oh, see, that's way too bright. I mean, it's cool. I'm glad they have, like, a really bright bluish purple like that, but... Actually, kind of looks really sick. What was it? Black light. The problem is, though, I kind of want more pink, but then the pink is, like, too bright. Oh, that actually looks really good. Because, like, the color scheme I'm going for is, like, purple, pink, black, and white. But there kind of was not, like, enough pink. I still feel like this purple is, like, a little bit on the warm side. Like, I want a slightly cooler purple. I think that works. I guess I just kind of wish there's, like, I don't know. I mean, that looks good. I wish I had something, like, kind of in between these two shades, I guess. It's like, I like the bright pink, but I feel like it almost stands out too much. I don't know. And that looks good, but... There is like Abyssal Rose, but I don't have that one unlocked. And then there is a pink. This pink, I mean, I won't use it on this character, but I was trying to figure out how to get it, and it turns out you can only get it for like a character anniversary thing. So you literally just have to wait <laughs> until oh, you can get I didn't it. See you there. Oh, see, that's, that's a really nice, that's kind of, Maybe a little bit more what I would be going for. Oh, it looks really good on here. Because then it, like, matches the, the purple on the gloves. Whatever. No, I th this is good how it is, I think. Yeah, no, I feel like the scarf doesn't, like, look as good with this. Let's see. That might look kind of cool, though. Easy. We're falling into fashion wars again, because of course we are. I would say just in general, the scarf looks really good with that color combination. I don't really want this dye. It's probably way too expensive. It's, well, it's not that expensive. What's the other one I was looking at? Torment? Ooh, that looks really nice, too. How much is this one? Ooh, yeah, we're not getting Torment. Maybe I should get Crystal. I don't know, because it's kind of like, well, then why did I even get Magenta if I'm just gonna, like, use a different shade? I don't know, like, something about that doesn't quite do it for me. I should just buy this, honestly. Well, let me see, like, how this would actually look. I just did everything with this. I 
I think that would look good. I still don't know about the scarf with this outfit. No, I, I think I want to just go with this. I'm just gonna go with that. Anyways, after all of that, let's see what we get here. Starborn cape! Okay, that's actually, like, really good. <laughs> I don't know who I would- if I, I would use that on anyone I have currently, but that is, like, a genuinely really cool, like, skin. Whatever that is. Oh. Oh man, yeah, that's actually like really nice. I wish the cape was bigger. It feels like kind of small compared to some of the other capes, but I feel like something like this should be bigger. I mean, I do have a space themed character. I'd be more likely to use like, um, you know, like this, for example. And there was like another back piece that kind of looked like this, but like even cooler. That's like the one problem with Starborn Cape is I feel like there's just kind of other things I would rather use, but I mean, it's still cool. Does this back piece actually use your dyes? Because I feel like it's like the same colors. Oh yeah, it does. Too bad you can't change, like, the rock color, but I guess that makes sense. It's still cool that it's, like, the- the different glowy parts of it. You can make it be, like, the four elements. That would be pretty cool. Right? Speak quickly. It's a good, like, earthy green, but still, like, neat. Greetings. You know, kind of like that. That could be cool. Oh, that looks sick. Miss, like, what would you do for air? See, these are not glowy enough. I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's not like I'm gonna use this. I don't know, it's just, like, fun to play around with shit, you know? Anyways. It's just, it's, it's too much fun. Well, I got complete shit. It actually gave me the exact same die twice, and it was already, like, not a good die. <laughs> like, really? Wow, that's also shit. Like, at least give me a unique skin or something. But at least I can throw them- Oh, I should not abuse that, but that's okay. At least I can throw them in the Mystic Forge. So maybe I will get something good. Uh, I already have this thing. All right. Actually, what's closer? Oh, I have the north is not closer. Right? Or wait, where is I of the Well, I forget where it is exactly, but I think... I think Holbrack is gonna be closer to Frostgorge. Oh, there's I of the North. Well, maybe not, actually. Here, first to here, versus... Let's go Eye of the North. I think that might be closer.
There, there's the event that failed, but it still... still worked for the, uh... The collection. You return? Flowery Meadow prepared this medicine for your leg. She made this for me? That settles it. I will go to her. Let her know that I will make the journey soon. Be careful in your travels. Oh, that's interesting. So I guess we'll go there and then he'll be there. Aw, that sounds cute. Also, it's cool because like, yeah, we haven't actually seen any of the like polar bear coden with the lowlanders. So I think that'll be interesting to see. And yeah, just as I thought, the whole- the whole thing is just to make you spend gold on waypointing. Imagine if they did some quest. I'm trying to think, like, what are the two farthest away points on the map? Like, somewhere in Cantha to, like... I don't know, Eye of the North, maybe? Like, if you went from, like... Wow, sure is cool how it looks like there's like a fleshed out map down there and then they like never actually made a map. Like if you went from here, I guess. Or... Or maybe here all the way to like... Like, like here to Omnitas. Like, imagine- I mean, I guess they couldn't do that because then that would re require two different expansions for, like, one collection. But, well, let's- how about this? Let's not give Aina any ideas. <laughs> how is he? Did the medicine work? Oh, please tell me it worked. It did, and he's coming to see you. Oh, a cutscene. Well, really kind of. You? I'm sorry that I kept you waiting for so long. Oh, hush, you silly bear. I thought I'd never see you again. Huh? Oh, I see. So they really don't like Coda and that follow Coda. I mean, I guess I can kind of see why because of their history, but still. We are prepared to escort you out if needed. It will not be needed. I will not fight you. Don't cry, little flower. It was oh, that's sad. To see you again. Aww. No, they should let him- they should let him be here. Sad. Oh, that's why this person had a collection thing over their head. Like, there's a few days ago they had the collection over their head, but I talked to them and they, like, just didn't say anything. Speak quickly. Already expired, my patience has. Why won't you let them be together? I will not be lectured by an outsider. The good of this village is my concern, and the sailors of the bitter wind do not share our ways. And I'll just have to help you see. That, that, that is interesting, because, like... So I'm just thinking about, like, if... If, um, Isgarin hadn't ascended Waiting Sorrow... I mean, maybe she would have just, like, gone insane anyways, but, like, him ascending her basically made this entire, like, uh, like, group of Coden, like, create a completely different culture and, like, change their entire way of life. I don't know, it's interesting. Completing events in Harvest Den, okay. As if, a, as if I haven't already been doing that for the past, like, two weeks every day. But yeah, I can do that. Let's see, what's my karma at currently? Yeah, nowhere near enough. I still need, like, 50,000 more. Let's see. 
That's what I thought, because I was doing some bosses and stuff. Um, well, he says in harvest then, but I'm kind of thinking, like, you can do in the forest, right? Because doesn't that contribute to the renown for that? Let's see. Yeah, that's, like, kind of vague, so I don't even know, like, how many I need to do. Or if it is only specifically ones, like, in Harvest Den. But I guess we'll find out. Now here's an event. Guess we'll see. What oh, thing? This, it, like, I still think that's sad, though, that, like, the Coden, just because they have different spiritual beliefs, they, like, don't like each other. Like, I mean, I can, I get it, because, like, the thing that happened with Waiting Sorrow was, like, a huge tragedy, but, I don't know, it's still sad. It is also interesting, you know, how they introduce Coden that don't actually follow Coda. And now the fun that's something that's just always interesting in this game is when they introduce like a group of a race that has like completely different beliefs from the the main group. Like things that we thought were like defining of their race, like with the Omicron. But they were Char, but they lived more like Norn, and like, they didn't have war bands, they didn't care about, like, having wars and being, like, militaristic, and it's like, oh, I guess that's not actually, like, innate to their, like, species. It's kind of interesting. Aw, oh, man, see, this is why- this, that's another reason I'm now just realizing why I wish they had done that thing with the second, like, um, group of Silvari, like, because there's, like, uh, Malik, was that his name, in the personal story, who was, like, a Silvari that came from a different tree, and then they were, like, originally going to expand on that in Heart of Thorns, and they wow, didn't, and they still, to this day, haven't done that. It's just like, wow, imagine that. Imagine having a group of Silvari with, like, a completely different way of life. That would not have been inspired by Ventari's teachings, probably. But that's kind of make me think, like, what they could do with other races. Like, imagine if they had, like, a group of Asura. Like, an offshoot that had a completely different culture. Like, what that would be like. That would be really cool. Like, while there is a group of Asura that refused to leave the underground when Primordus awoke. And so there is just, like, like an Asura civilization that, like, existed down there all these years. I've said this before, like, how much I want them to have an expansion where it's, like, the Skrit and Asura go back underground to, like, rediscover their homeland. And maybe, like, we see the dwarfs, too. Or dwarves. Is that something that still, like, isn't clear to me? I kind of thought that, like, when Primordus was defeated, the dwarves would, like, return to normal. Or do they just die? I don't know. The whole- their whole thing is they turned the stone to fight Primordus forever. But now Primoris is dead, like, what happens to them now? Can they, like, return to the surface? That'd be really interesting if they had, like, the dwarves go back to the surface and then, like, the Asura- Not that the Asura would, like, all return to the underground and just live there, but at least, like, kind of 
rediscover their homeland, I guess. Asura are like, they still don't have their own expansion. Like, even Icebreed Saga had some Char and like some Norn stuff. And then there's like the Omicron. Like, they had some stuff. There still hasn't been an expansion that really has anything for like Asura as a race. But then they're like the best race, so like I'm just waiting for them to do that. <clears throat> Alright, we'll see if this like counts, I guess. I guess not. So maybe that was, like, not nearby, or it has to be more events? I don't know. Good. Your impact is only temporary. This is true. Though aspects of my work can be learned and imitated. I'd be eager to teach you if you're open to it. I'm also wondering if some of the farming events over here would count. So I know for a fact that that's part of the Renown Heart. Is that still part of Harvest then? Looks like it. Yeah, so maybe that's what it is. It, like, the forest doesn't count. He has a really low voice. By the ears. Yeah, I guess we just have to, like, wait for an event over here. This is such a cute little garden. I, I like, I just love everything on this map. There's nothing happening over here. Okay, if you're in free fall, the updraft doesn't work. You have to actually be, like, gliding. I could go to, um, the wolf den, like I was talking about, which I think was here? monkey dog. <laughs> okay. Can't even tell what race it is. I think Norn, because they look big, but I don't know. Oh man, I actually like need to do this event. But I don't I don't know if anyone else will come and do it. Mrs. Knight, the eyes and ears. Let's be an animal when we do those. Actually, let's not, because the camera is, like, really bad. You are the one who helped my son, correct? 
Oh, is that like, cause I did the wolf... ...thing? Is this like the wolf from the event? Where you have to like, protect them? Thank you, I'm still not feeling great, but much better. Glad to hear it. I love how they still use the like, old like, wolf pup model. It looks really like, janky. Like, cause all of their new, like, newish animal models they've done in the last few years, like, look really good. Then so the old ones, like, don't. You are the one who helped my son, correct? I'm surprised. Your kind usually attacks us on sight. And it's cause the wolves usually attack us on sight, but yeah. Yes, he needed help. I am in your debt. Should you have need of me, the pack can spare me for a bit. Have you heard of Ms. Jeeves, the other master criminal, or the, the master criminal? We do not concern ourselves with the politics of our prey. Since I owe you, tell me, what would she ask of me? She's getting a crew together for her heist. She needs your eyes and ears. Very well. I understand little of heists, but my fangs long for the neck of something other than deer. The hunt is on. Uh, hopefully it won't come to that. She's in town. Excellent swimming skills, aerial fighter. Okay. Yeah, the only reason I found these guys is because I went, like, way out of my way somewhere else, so... I'm gonna have to really, like, look for these guys. I mean, I'm sure one of them is, like, in the water somewhere, but... It's like I had said before, I kind of thought I would just find everyone by just, like, going around and doing stuff on the map. But clearly there are some, like, really, like, off-the-beaten-path areas that I haven't looked in, so... We'll just have to see. Hopefully there will be an event here now. Oh, there is. There's, like, no one else doing this event. That's the trick. Nice and easy, no? It looked like there was a thing here. Yay, I did it. Yeah, so you just have to do one of them. That's good.
You have helped my bearkin in my village. Very well. Open my mind to your counsel, I will. But this is your only chance. Driving him away will only drive her away. She will recover from the wound in time. She will come to understand my reasons, and she will accept them. If you're wrong, you'll lose her forever. And what would you have me do instead? And trust- Oh, this is her dad. Entrust my only child to some wandering sailor? Give him a chance. You can always expel him later if you need to. Very well. He oh, it's just the mom. Now. Never mind. <laughs> I the right to change my mind. I am not made of stone, Wayfinder. But I will always do what I must to protect my I mean, child. I can't tell, like, what gender there are, like, except for their voice, basically. And, like, all the females are, like, titties out, so it's, like, I can't go by that either. I mean, that, that's a good thing, that they don't, like, make the female code and be, like, sexy bear girls or something. They, like, visually look exactly the same, but... <laughs> oh, there's a thing down here. Wait, what does she want me to do? Go back to the... the Go back to the couple at their homestead. Oh, I guess that's here. I mean, it's cool seeing, like, the other Coden. Like, seeing them together, because you just don't see them here. Also, it's kind of interesting that, like... He's a polar bear and, like, she's a grizzly bear, but they're, they're the same size. Because I think polar bears are bigger than grizzlies. I don't actually know for sure, because they're both, like, fucking giant. Look who it is. You two have a lovely homestead. You have a kind heart, Wayfinder. You've given us another chance Like how they're still doing a pose of, like, holding a spear, but I they aren't. I don't know how to repay this debt of gratitude to you. I will find a way someday, I hope. And polar bears and grizzly bears crossbreed in real life? Because I feel like I might have heard of that happening in places where, like, their territory overlaps. I mean, they're both bears, so, like, I get I could see that happening. I could see that, like, working, I guess. Yay, we did it! Oh, yeah! You know, that's another thing I saw off stream. A bunch of these things you get from renowned hearts on this map and, like... I saw them, but I didn't buy them. They are worth some karma, but I, I, I think it's worth it. Snug, surprisingly soft, and incredibly heat resistant. You might as well do this before the reset, so I don't have to do- I mean, I, I'll probably end up doing all the renowned hearts again anyways, but still. Refined tempering oil, distilled repeatedly from salmon scales for use in metallurgical processes. I'm pretty sure I used to think metallurgic was like when you're allergic to certain metals. Fresh. <laughs> Crystalline diode, a strange stone found within an elemental beast, with potentially useful energy transfer properties. I guess I finished the thing. Yeah, so now I probably go to... Complete Falling Star Crafting List Achievement, right. Then speak with... Morga Bloodseeker. Oh, that's the dude in Black Citadel. I'm trying to remember. You know, I guess you do also get the, this kind of karma that you don't automatically consume. I guess you do get a lot of that as well.
Yeah, I don't have anything to put in here. Oops, that's not right. Oh, wait, you can... Oh, that's right, you can go to there from there. I forgot. This is honestly so useful. I'm pretty sure I got this Royal Terrace Pass from, like, uh... It was not even a gem store thing. It was, like, one of the Living World, like, Season 1 items. Like, the... It's, like, the Sprocket... Or, might have even been... Might have been the Sprocket, or it might have been one of... Because I think they also sell it during the, um... Festival of Four Winds. And it's, like... It's so good, because it's like, and it's not even like a weak, limited thing. It's like unlimited. Like, it lasts forever, and it's like... Some people might like some of the other locations more that have like the same services, but it's like... You, like, why even spend- Why spend like gems on the gem store for like a limited access thing? When you can just get this thing with like in-game currency, and it's like unlimited. Here's the goods. Not bad, I've prepared the chassis already, so now all that's left is a bit of sizing. Calibrate this. Hold out your hand for a moment so I can measure. Done, go knock him dead. A perfect fit, all right, I'll test it out soon enough. Cool. With the meteor wielder's glove equipped, retrieve the spear. I think like, it's cool. Oh, this is ascended. It's cool that it's like an actual armor piece, but it's also like a thing for the collection. Like you have to wear it. I think this is kind of cool. Oh, okay, good. Like I would be so pissed if it was like, oh dude, there's an infusion. Oh, it's specific. Oh, okay, I see. It's specifically for that. That's interesting, though, because you could probably extract that and put it on something else. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna put it on... I, I was saying, like, thank God it's not soulbound, because I thought for a second it was going to be soulbound. That would really piss me off. The thing is, I just don't feel like it's that cool looking of an armor. Like, for what it is. Like, yeah, I can't recolor it, but even then, it's not, like, that cool looking. Well, that is kind of cool looking, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, some- some armor, like, the abyssal die, you can't even, like, tell a difference. I'm just like, is there anything I could do to this to make it look better? make like part of it a different color but then it just like doesn't look as good you buying something like I feel like it could look cool that is like kind of cool I think I don't know, it's not that cool. What if we did like... i give it some texture, I guess? Yeah, maybe if we do like a night not as dark black.
I can't even see a difference. Where is burnished steel? Oh, I already have. I've already tried that. Glossy black. Nightshade. Whatever. It's probably fine how it is. It's like, if I'm gonna wear it, you've gotta make it look cool, at least. I can't really make it, like, glowier than it is. All this does is just kind of change the shade slightly. Kind of nice looking, but I want it to be like glowy. We'll go arcane, that's like the glowiest, I think. All right, I mean, if I have to wear it, gotta make it look good. Speaking of Griffin, this is a good time to use it. Just as I thought. Shark. It's like one of those events no one ever does. Here we go. Yay! I did it! I mean, it's cool to have an Ascended Spear. I don't know if I'll use that skin, but it's still, like, really useful. Same with this glove. Wait, let me see. Equipment. Yeah, because this one- this one is only an exotic. So actually, I should just use this and just recolor it and re-dye it. Or re reskin it. Okay, Shadow Abyss, Shadow Abyss, Abyssal Twilight, Glint Sanctuary. Actually, I think if I do this, it will copy the dyes. Oh no, I guess it just copies the dye from the other thing. Oh, but I need to change the appearance. Yeah, that looks right. I think that's how it looked. Yeah, because I think I was using Glinch Sanctuary to match the rest of the metal, but I had to do a different die. Nice. And then we'll go... This. Oh, wait. Okay. Add an upgrade to this empty slot to improve your build. I could do that. I might just salvage this instead of extracting the thing. Because 
I mean, it's not soulbound, but it's also only a Sura. So I'm going to salvage it with this. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought that I would get the upgrade from it. Ah, oh, shit. Whatever. That was like a complete waste. But whatever. I'll, I can just buy another one. Ah, damn it. I thought I was guaranteed to get it, but maybe maybe not on armor or on, uh, armor that's like that high a rarity. That was the one, right? Yeah, it's favorited. All right, well, I'm gonna waste more money, I guess. Wow, this has two infusion slots. Oh, nice. I'm glad it's not soulbound, like, ever. Harmy is like, maybe I should equip it on this character, even though I'm only gonna use it for the underwater. Actually, I just realized. Do you have- if you're planning on using spear on the land, do you actually have to have two different spears for underwater and land? Like, you actually have to have two different ones. Yeah, Black Lion Salvage Kit. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Like, I know I have other items. And I have, like, the, like, upgrade extractor and stuff like that. So I kind of messed that up, but oh well. You know, like, since this is my main, I could give her the... Um, ascended spear, even though I'm only gonna use it underwater, but that feels like kind of a waste. I don't know. Like I said, it's not soulbound, so I can always like give it to other characters if I want. Greetings. Because I do, you know, when I make that Norn, I want him to be spear main. Well, we still have, like, half an hour until to quaddle. I'm like... What am I gonna do until then? I guess I could still do, like, boss. I think a fish is about to attack me. Wow, you know, all those times I was going to Frostgorge Sound... Jormag was, like, active. Or Claw of Jormag. I could just use the boss portal the whole time. I didn't even think about that. Oh my god. Like, used literally, like, the t time, too. I could have used it. Oh, man. Well, whatever. I just really love spending gold in this game for no reason, I guess. Nah. Actually, was there other, like, food over there? Well, I guess I'll find out after this phase. Doesn't look like anyone put banners or food. That's unfortunate. So I don't really need, like, the XP. I was saving this for getting, like, uh, mastery XP for the expansion. even need a table for this? I mean, he doesn't have, like, a break bar during this phase. Oh, I'm still getting damage from the fucking ice floor? That's stupid. I'm in the air. I love how as time goes on, people just find more ways to bypass- or like, just they introduce moves that end up like, letting you bypass the- this phase of the fight. Like, even down here, people have just started just like- Uh-oh. 
Apparently I'm encased in ice, but I also wasn't encased in ice. But yeah, people just attack him down here and just like heal through all the damage, I guess. Well, most- some people do. <laughs> some people die, but- Oh no, don't- don't do that. But like, I don't blame them, because this phase is like really dumb. It's just so annoying, you just like wait around until you can attack him, basically. I think what I don't like about this phase too is it doesn't really like tell you when it ends or like when it tells you when he becomes vulnerable but other than that it doesn't like give you any kind of like dodge of like how close it is to that happening I guess. Hey yo mama what's up? Welcome back. Like, I'm just healing people more than I'm actually attacking them. Actually, I don't know if I even am attacking them from here. Yeah, if you have, and I especially remember back in the day, if you had like Longbow Ranger, Greatsword, uh, uh, what's it called? Mesmer. Like, you could just shoot him from a safe spot and still damage him. Yeah, because no one wants to wait around for those stupid golems to make him vulnerable. It's like, it's stupid. It takes forever. Like, there's one that did his job, but apparently it needs to be, like, multiple of them, but it doesn't really tell you, like, how many golems ha have to go over there. And, like, how close you are to, like, killing him. Let's do this and, like, get killed. Actually, I don't think I'm even attacking him. Yay, he's dead. Oh, this is new? Okay, that's cool. Plus, just the skin seems fucking cool. Like, I had the ugly stick, which is like this as a hammer. But, like, having this as a mace, I like it. I like it, dude. I don't know who I'll use it on, because, like, hardly any classes even have access to mace. Well, I guess they did, like, add a couple more, but... I don't know. That's cool. It's nice to still get, like, exotics, that skins I haven't unlocked yet. I kind of wonder how many... Just like regular random drop exotics, I still don't have unlocked yet. I didn't get that much karma from that. But yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like Taquaddle gives like the most karma at once. And mainly because there's like a bunch of like little events that are part of it. I think. No, I still need one more exotic. I said this before, but like, I hate how you have to recheck this every time you like- Responsibility isn't easy. Like, it doesn't just stay checked forever, so it's almost like pointless. But it's like every time you go and buy something from it, it like resets. So it's like, it was a nice feature, but then it like wasn't. Dude, I got a lesser vision crystal. That's pretty good. 
I've definitely gotten like ascended like accessories and stuff from these before, so. Like usually you just get complete crap, but sometimes you can actually get some good stuff. Oh yeah, I can go pick up my rune that I bought. It's like destroyed the other one. Yeah, it's on this one. Right? Yes. I actually still need one more. Which one is missing it? fucking rune of divinity that's not right oh i think i know why because i have two different things i i forgot to put on the other one well this time i will use the fucking extractor Wait. or the other thing actually do i have one i used to have a ton and then i like was like oh i should be using these and so then i did and so now i don't think i have any I think I have an extractor. Well, actually, no, that's good, because I don't want to destroy the fucking equipment. I just want to get the thing. I forgot I had that. Um, oh yeah. It's kind of annoying that you have to- well, maybe you don't have to unequip it. Maybe you can just do this. Alright, good. But that means I need to buy another one. all these things I faved. Like, I don't even- well, like, what was I buying the rest of these for? I don't even remember. Yay! So this- this- I was actually- like, the only reason I have two different, like, sets is purely for cosmetic reasons. And the only thing different is the headpiece. But, I, but, like, when I was dressed like this, I was actually slightly weaker and I didn't even realize it. I have so much to do. Um... I just- I guess I'll probably just sell this, because it's just like, um, celestial stats, which I'm sure they do have their use, but it's just like not for anything I- I, I ever do. Because I feel like almost all, like, PvE builds- well, I mean, maybe not almost all of them, but a lot of them are just like Berserker. So... Previous map. Where was my previous map? No, I don't want to go there. I think I actually want to just, like, continue this. I kind of- that's something I can do. These four cubs love to chat around the local watering hole. Okay. What would that be, though? Watering hole? Isn't that just, like, anywhere with water? Maybe it's here. Oh, well, there's something over here. I think this is something else, but I'll get it. A bar? <laughs> well, first of all... <laughs> first of all, they don't really have bars in this bear culture, and also they're, they're cubs, they're children. So it is like a literal watering hole, but yeah. Alright. I'll check here. Alright, wait a minute. This is annoying, it's way up here. <laughs> I mean, there are bars in the game, just not here.
Elder Cove. Oh, I don't think this is what I was thinking of. Uh, where is that? It's like that pond. Oh, it's here. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, I didn't even think of there being a watering hole. Because they're like, they live next to our, like, rivers. So, but I think it might be... It might be here. Yeah, it is. What do you want? I like to know what toys are cool in the village right now. Toys? Pfft. Too old for those. Are you sure about that? Well, there is this one that has wings. It's kind of cool, but don't tell anyone I said that. You know, you're like literally right next to someone else. Your secret's safe with me. Do you have any snacks? No, but I just want to know what your favorite toy is. Favorite toy? Uh, I like this one my pa made for me. It's got wings and makes a funny noise when you press it. The other cubs also like that toy? Oh yeah, they're always asking to borrow it, but it's mine. All mine. Don't worry, I won't take it from you. So I guess we're gonna like, give the quaggin wings or something. Hi Outlander! What kinds of toys are popular around here? All kinds. My brother likes the ones with wings. I like ones that squeak. Feels like they're talking to you. Wings and squeaks, got it. Hey, why do you want to know this stuff anyway? I'm on a very important mission. And where's the last one? Oh, here. Huh? What's your favorite kind of toy? I like butterflies. Okay. Or er, I'm making a toy for someone. What should I put on it? Wings! Wings are cool. I wish I could fly. One time I tried to make my stuffy fly and it fell in the lake. Ma yelled at me. Good to know. And I'm sorry about your stuffy. Okay. So we're gonna give it wings, I guess. Find a small pair of wings. Check the hinterlands where flying things are born. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling we're going where, like, ball ravens are. The hinterlands. No, I still don't know what a hinterland actually is. Let's- let's look it up. Let's finally find out. Let's finally learn. Because there is literally a map in this game called the Harathi Hinterlands. And it's like, I still don't know what, what it is. Hinterland, the often uncharted areas beyond a coastal district or a river, a river's banks. Similar, the middle of nowhere, the backwoods, the wilds, an area lying beyond what is visible or known. And the hinterland, okay, whatever. Alright, I guess that makes sense. The land behind the coast. The land behind the coast, or the banks of a river, or an area of a country that's far away from cities. Okay, I guess I get it. I'm thinking it might be like here. I feel like, you know, cragged and it's upland. And upland also sounds similar because it's like an inland area away from rivers or something. I guess that's why the hinterlands are called that. This is kind of like a no man's land. Well, okay. The reason they're called that is because the, all the events on this map is literally just doing colonialism. It's like literally just stealing more land from the centaurs. So. <laughs> yeah, it's the backwoods. It's uninhabited to humans. But not to the fucking centaurs are living there. Um, but I'm assuming it's where there's like fall ravens. You probably just have to like kill them. And you like get their wings or something. Uh, maybe like up there. I 
I'm trying to remember, like, where their nests are and stuff. Oh, let me take this away. I am assuming it's in this area somewhere. I just don't remember where. Britney Speared. I love that. That's a really pretty mount, the way that they colored it. this is. But hopefully I'll find it eventually. I hope that I'm in the right place. I don't even know if I'm in the right place. <laughs> I'm, I like the sounds it makes. I mean, maybe it is, like, the woods. I don't think there's anything on the map that is called, like, something, like, Hinterlands. Is this called this because it's named after, like, Divinity's Reach? Probably. I mean, I doubt the Coden would name it that. I know this will probably never happen, but I was always wishing that, like, literally every single- like, someday, literally every single part of the map would become, like, explorable. Like, they would make maps on every single, like, blurred out area, and then you'd be able to go there. But, I mean, they made a little bit of progress with this. That probably won't not ever happen, but that's another thing why I was, like, disappointed with, like, this map. It's like, oh, we're not exploring more of Tyria, they just, like, made- they just, like, made this other dimension that you go to, I guess. There's, like, there's so much, and, like, there's stuff that have, like, distinct enough looking, like, features that feels like they have plans to make a map of it. I've never been to Grothmar Valley on this character. It's crazy. I mean, I'm sure some of these places were explorable in Guild Wars 1, so some of it's from that, but like... I mean, like, look at this. This looks like something interesting over here. Like, it feels like they wouldn't have put, like, detail into these places if they weren't at least thinking about making a map out of them eventually. Anyways. I still want them- I mentioned this before- I still want them to actually connect, um, these maps together. Because both of these maps have, like, gates that lead to the other area, but it's just, like, closed off. Like, in-universe, it's because it's, like, too dangerous, so they closed it off, but it's, like, well, all the threats that were there are, like, killed, so, like, it shouldn't be too dangerous anymore. I think that'd be really cool. I honestly really like that when they connect, like, some of the expansion maps, or stuff that's, like, locked up behind a purchase. They still connect it to, like, a regular map. You can still, like, use that, like, map connection if you have it unlocked. I just, I don't know, I just like that from, like, a world-building standpoint. 
Instead of just like, just go through like, a portal or like, you talk to an NPC and you warp there or something. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right place, because I'm assuming you're going to, like, a Valraven nest. Which doesn't look like there's one over here. It's just, like, a floating rock. Alright. Can I already look over here? I feel like I might have. Or maybe not. Oh shit, it's almost time to fight to Quaddle. I guess I'll go and do that. And hopefully we'll get enough karma from here. Yeah, I don't know what single, just, like, regular, like, open world event gives the most karma, but I do feel like to quaddle his gobby up there. Alright, looks like we're on the map where they're fighting him, so that's good. I did something. Oh, nice. Oh, this must have just reset. It's kind of weird. The weekly doesn't really match up with, like, the daily reset. It might be hard for them to program it, but I wish you could check off some option where it would, like, dynamically lower the graphics based on, like, player population. But that probably would be, like, complicated to program. And, it, like, if you just had one option, it probably would be complicated to actually, like, make it be something everyone would like, I guess. I don't know. Ooh, they look really cool. And they have some kind of like red infusion, but I think it looks cooler with just the purple. That looks really nice. What is this shoulder? Oh, it's really nice. Cause it's like kind of spacey. Or I guess the way they colored it is kind of spacey. It looks really nice. Well, now we wait. I guess we can look at the weeklies and see what stuff there is. We will be doing that. Oh, I guess I must have reset a little while ago, because there's already, like, nine events done. But yeah, we could do that. We'll definitely be doing that. Actually, we probably will knock that out just during this boss event, honestly. Oh, I could have done that, probably, because that was happening a little while ago. Apparently I already did something. Oh, it already reset, okay. Well, we'll definitely- like, I don't even need to check that one, because, like, that's definitely gonna happen. Actually, all of these, I mean, it'll probably happen, like, just right now during this boss fight.
This is really nice. Like, I like this color scheme that they did. It actually looks really nice. Cyanide, brick, and lemonade. And An ember red. And, like, it matches the hair, too. It looks really nice. It looks like people are actually, like, getting rid of the scales. Or, wait, are they? Yeah, it looks like they are, so that's good. I think this will go pretty well. I mean, except for me, like, dying. We're almost past the first phase. Oops. Alright. Oh, there's already a bunch of champions spawn. That's interesting. See, this is when having the raptor is nice, because you just pull everything in. But, I mean, I guess everyone else is doing that, so... I mean, I could, like, change the hotkeys real quick. I kinda don't want to. Here, let's kill champs. go just now. Although one nice thing about Warclaw is you can mount up when you're um, in combat with the Warclaw, so maybe I should just stick with Warclaw. There's a champ, but can we kill him in time? Yeah, it looks like it. Nice. What? Why'd I dismount?
I really, I just need to kill champs more than anything. This boss is also a great way to get XP. If you're high enough level, but you're under level 80. Zeus just- you kill so many enemies. Ah, oh, where are the champs? Where are they? Oh, I seriously just like missed all of them? Maybe in here? No? Where are the freaking champs? Oh well. And maybe I really have just missed all of them. And giving Sky Scale like the fireball ability was just like kind of insane a little bit. <laughs> but it's so good. And it's so like satisfying to use. I did not see a single champ during this phase, that's weird. like pull them all together at their rafter and then can just shoot all of them with the fireball. Yeah, there's still like no chance which is I don't know what's up with that. Like I know they die pretty quick, but like how have I not seen any since the first phase? Or I I mean guess technically the second phase? But the first of these phases. Oh wow. Oh, there's one. Nice. Pretty sure I got credit for that. <laughs> Every time I hear the Asura male say, vacate these premises. I don't know, I think it's like really funny. Like, that's definitely a, a, like, quote that I think about all the time. I just love the Asura. They're just the best. Ooh, there's a champ. Alright, yo mama. Thanks for coming. See if we can get a good drop, that'd be nice. Nice. 
Oh yeah, none of those guys had loot because they're just like boss enemies. Let's see how much karma we get. You, you can get so much karma from this event. We just like get all the rest of the loot first so then we can see. I didn't get any like good items though unfortunately. Here we go, let's see. Wait for these items to stop. So I can see. Fifteen hundred. Is that it? Forty five hundred. I guess I still don't get like that much. Forty five hundred. I mean, that was only like 1500 more or so. Damn. I might just look up like the fastest way to get a bunch of karma. Like, I know you can get from doing events and renowned hearts and stuff, but like, I wanted the fastest way. I think you can make moats with Chef. No. I don't really want to like throw these away. Or like just sell them. I want to craft things with them and then sell them. I mean, I guess I can do the renowned hearts anyways in uh. Panther since the daily reset happened. Let's see. Fast farming community. That should be useful, I think. Farming guide. Well, let's see. Well, let's do some stuff here. Oh, here we go. Karma. Best recommended karma farm is to buy... Karmic Retribution Tier 3 for Sandswept Isles or Dragonfall as it enforces a guaranteed 200 karma drop from every tagged mob. Damn. Best karma farms are certain activ activities during Winter's Day, which we can't do because that's a seasonal thing. Detail explanation. Okay. Best Tyrion map rewards, Fireheart Rise. I have everything you need. Current week, first shore. Yeah, I would, I don't know, I would rather maximize gold using them. Uh, oh, that's just like... Oh yeah, there's like glyphs for karma, but I don't want to replace the current glyphs that I have. Or maybe I do. 
Solo farming, spirit shard, and karma farm. I don't want a video guide. Well, should I just do what it says? Go to Sandswept Isles or Dragonfall? I haven't been to Dragonfall forever, but I don't really want to just do, like, grinding on stream. Well, we'll see. Dailies are good for karma. Oh, okay. From the achievement panel, yeah. Oh, those dailies. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I always, like, kind of forget about those, <laughs> to be honest. I hate when there's, like, lag on the mouse and the cursor, like, jumps around. It's so annoying. have enough for this. Alright. Maybe I should be crafting these, because they don't use that other charm that I don't have. I can still sell them. Which is what I'm gonna do. Let's see. Yeah, I don't wanna make these. I mean, maybe I do. I don't know. I don't wanna, like, craft the wrong thing. Waste money. And I don't wanna, like, look it up either. All I know is I like to sell these. 19 gold, fuck yeah. Alright, we can sell the damn spoon. This- I don't know why, but jeweler, you can't use them as a merchant unless you All have the jeweler... ...like, profession. But the other ones, you can, so I don't know what's up with that. I guess they're like... Let's make jewelers suck even more for no reason. All right, let's see what we have here. Isn't there a daily for Janther? Maybe it's under here. Eatable, maybe? No? Okay. It's its own daily. But it doesn't give karma. Honeycomb covered gear bag. I can't preview it, so I don't know what's in there. Oh yeah, the fucking homestead. I still- I still haven't done homestead! It's because I'm still busy doing this other shit. I don't know what you feel like going to camp, though. Well, hell, I mean, if they're doing sandswept aisles anyways, I guess we'll fucking do it, right? Let's see, I think I have the portal tome in here. Speak quickly. It's been so long since I, like, did this. I don't, it looks like I haven't even done this map on this character. Alright, so first we will get the thing. Where's the, like, merchant for this shit? Oh, they're up there. 
I mean, this is like a nice little map, I guess. It is kind of similar to Coden in some ways. I have no- I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough volatile magic. I guess we're not gonna do that, actually. Oh well. Probably because I spent it all on, like, these things. Especially when I was, like, farming, uh, back when Istan was, like, the place to farm for gold. And I would just do that, like, for hours. So anyways, Renowned Heart Completer, Bounty Hunter, I don't know if anyone is doing that. Awakened Slayer and Racer. Isn't that the skimmer race on this map, I think? It's been so long since I, like, did this map. Hunting grounds. Forgot how you extern ster exterminate them. I have to deal with these annoying assholes. Or not. I thought that was gonna be a Jacaranda, I'd have to fight it. I don't fuck. What do I do with this thing? Oh, maybe I feed them. Oh, okay. Eat the jacaranda. Eat those things. She was probably telling me how to kill the fairy dogs, but I already, like, wasn't paying attention. Can't stealth in there. Is that how you do it? You just stealth to kill them? I don't remember. Well, now they're gone. Oh. Oh, now I can't- now I can't attack it. Okay. It's like, I can't give the food to the- Oh, no, well now it's dead. Rip. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you have to be stealthed. I mean, it's kind of sad, so I don't really want to kill them. And also, there's like a meerkat that uses like the exact same character model, and it's like, I don't want to kill Timon! Oh my god, I hate these things, they're so annoying. Don't heal. Oh, this is like a thing to kill this thing. It's like a hunting target or something. This design is cool because it's like a ram or whatever, but has like rocks. I think that's cool. Oh man, I need more CC on this guy. That's the one problem with having the Using focus instead of sword as I lose out on a CC skill. But I had to do it because the, the focus skin looks so cool. Get yeah, over here. Get back here. Oh, it's almost dead. Damn it. Get 
Okay. That's done. Oh, you have to do two of them. Yeah, I don't want any of these things. I mean, this could be useful, I guess. But, I mean, it's not better than what I currently have. So you need to like kill Awakened, so that, that'll be like over here somewhere. I thought that was like a ley line at first. It's so weird going back to these like older maps after like years and having all these like new abilities and stuff. going to eat all your cabbages. I like that some of the coden in the like current map, the current expansion, call you Outlander sometimes. So I think I think that's still like the coolest title that your character has gotten. Like there's Commander, there's Wayfinder, but I think Outlander just sounds cool. And also, just like the expansion that that title is from is like the best one, so... Okay, nice! I didn't even know that was like a thing. I guess that was a daily? Or was it? Oh, that's right! I totally forgot about these return to achievements. I, al I, t I always forget about those. Oh, there's like something happening or something. Oh man, remember Ritz of Experience? I totally forgot about those. You don't get those from like regular dailies anymore. This is what I mean about like some renowned hearts that like make you use Springer. See, that's why there's like actually people on this map is because there's the daily. <laughs> we all have that same harvesting tool. That's probably good, because then I can, like, kill them more easily. I wonder if anyone is doing bounties. Mr. Grave Ears. <laughs> Nope. Actually, can't you like... No, I don't know if you can get karma from this. 
think it's just like gold and yeah, black, mystic, uh, mystic clover. I mean, th it, this is all like good stuff, but I don't think you can get karma from this. It's just like gold, mystic coin, clover, black, <clears throat> obsidian shard, yeah, laurels, but no karma. Wait, can you get something with laurels that, like, is karma? I don't remember. Skunk Warden. <laughs> you don't even look like a skunk. Like, if you're gonna have a funny name, like, at least make your character, like, relevant to it. Is that just, like, a generic thing? Oh, the race. The race is happening. Probably won't get there in time, but maybe. Maybe. I think that's here? Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's weird going to maps that have like the old... But why did that not work? Um, excuse me? Why is this not working? Okay. They have like the old, um like, checkpoint system. Oh, that's right. It's been so long since I did this. What? What happened? I did, like, nothing. They should give skimmer they should like give always have this ability and not just for this one race i think that would actually be really good and considering like how kind of overpowered they've made so, so many of the other mounts with like upgrades like i don't think that would be like too unbalanced for a skimmer I mean, I know they already, like, let it go underwater, but still. No, oh, leave me alone, sharks. I don't think I'll be able to finish the race, unfortunately, but maybe? So I don't remember how much longer it is. Oh look! It looks like we can make it. Yay! What is that? Oh, that thing. Fucking people, like, stop, like, slamming the door <laughs> and my mic picks it up. It's a decent amount of karma. We're getting there. I think we need 175,000. So funny, before I did the expansion, I had like a million karma, and now I have like a tenth of that. <laughs> I was just spending it on everything. I think the renowned heart is over here. And it'll be good, because we also need to kill Awakened. If 
vandalize inquest golems and technology. That's right, they did have some Asura in this part of the expansion, and then we're like, oh cool. It's like Asura, but then like, they, they didn't really do much. It's like, oh cool, they had Char, and now there's Asura. Before this, during the like, main expansion, it was all about humans, which is fine. But it was nice seeing like, some of the other races. Well, I guess it's not Awaken over here. I guess it's, um, like, Inquest. Which I think last week there was a thing for killing Inquest for a weekly, but now I think it isn't. Right? And now it's Flame Legion. That's unfortunate. I love, like, killing things by yelling at them. <laughs> you yell suffer at them and they die. That's another reason why uh, Reaper is so great. What do I do with this thing? Oh, I put it on the... this thing, I think. Right? Or wait, I don't know. Oh well. Screw those, because I don't know what you do with them. Oh, maybe you give it to the golem. Are they not awakened around here? Wasn't this the whole point? Is the inquest were like teaming up with the awakened? They're eating something over there, I think. They're eating like a griffin or something. Griffin expert. Did I ever do that one? Some of the griffin challenges are like fucking impossible. I feel like I might have done this one, but you know what? There'll probably be like an, a return achievement to do this one again. I can't remember, I think Master is harder than Expert, so if it's Expert, it's probably, like, actually doable. Yeah, I feel like I might not have even, like, been on this map since, uh, Skyscale. Cause it's just like, wow, I remember it being really hard to get up here. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. I think I did do this before. Oh god, where is it? Okay, now where is it? Oh, it's down there. Uh-oh. Oh god, oh god, I don't know where I'm going. Ah, see, I fucked it up, dude. Well, it's so hard, because it's like... You can't, like, unless you know in advance where to go, it's like, you can't, you don't know where to go. Oh, that was bullshit, dude. I don't even know why I'm doing this, to be honest. It's not like I need to do it. Okay, and then we go down here. Then there's a second one that's in the, like the lower thing or something. Oh, there it is. Now we go up. Oh no, I hit my head, so now I can't do it. God, like, I remember the one for, um, the Festival of Four Winds. It's, like, impossible, man. Like, I, I will never be able to do that one. That one's, like, ridiculous. Oh, God. Where is- okay. Now go, now go up. I think I did manage to do this before, though. 
Hey, I did it! Huh, CM wasn't so hard. But yeah, that one is expert. I don't remember if there's a master one on here, but that one will be, like, impossible. I'm getting some- Oh, I got a thousand volatile magic for that, dude. You know what that means. Oh yeah, I think the Karmic Retribution or whatever it's called, I think that's a permanent thing. Like, you don't have to buy it every time. Oh, we should get this, uh, uh, waypoint. I think I remember that being the case, so that'll be nice. So I think I had that in East Dawn as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's permanent. Nice. Looks like one of the metas is happening, but I don't know how much I really care about doing it. Cake egg. Bye now. Even though I just destroyed. Yeah, just throw an egg into a basket. That will definitely work. Oh, I was killing beehive. See, this is what I mean about, like, how nice it is to have all these, like, new abilities on this old map. Oh, that's so satisfying to just like insta kill them with the the sky scale fireball. I mean, evade. Fuck that. Thing had a pulsing brand spark for some reason. <laughs> what about this? Do I just crush them with the Springer? I guess so. Retribution. I almost. Oh, you can use this for handiworker. Okay. I was gonna say, like, I almost want to just, like, consume it. Um. For, for volatile magic, but I might have a different use for it. And yeah. Okay, that's. That's interesting. Like, that's kind of good and bad. So on one hand, it's kind of cool they're giving all these maps specific currencies, like, another use. On the other hand, it's like, oh great, now I need to, like, collect all of them.
Alright, let's go find some Awaken to kill. Oh yeah, they add fishing over here. I kind of forgot about that. I guess I can do this meta. I mean, I don't really remember if it's like really annoying or not. And like, remember how I get in there. They're way over there. There's some awakened. Oh man, where'd they go? Maybe that was just like a bounty over there, I don't know. Yeah, it must be a bounty. I thought they were doing the meta, but maybe, maybe they don't care. Probably are doing- someone's doing bounties, I guess. There's definitely something happening over there. <laughs> ah, these guys are fucking annoying. There's something where you have to CC them before you can attack them. I oh, know we're attacking them. Oh, how dare you! Oh, I don't think I got the fear off. Yay! Oh, this is a thing that I never did. Oh, this is for- yeah, this is for the, like, 28 slot bag. 
Kind of stuff those boxes not move when inventory is sorted. I mean, this is, like, good, but I don't really need one of these, like, special bags. Lumin luminescent seaweed. Collect driftwood that washes up after the storm. Oh! Oh, that's right! That's, like, a thing! Forget where that is. I guess that's here? I mean... I don't remember. I think that's like after this event that we just did, right? It's been so long since I've done this. Because it's not done yet. It says joint squad, but like, there's no commander. It's just this person, but it's not like the same person. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I'll do this meta, I guess. Oh, yeah, it's starting. I guess- okay, I was gonna say, no one had a raptor out to, like, draw them all together. I might as well kill them too, I guess. Champion, nice. Cause like no one's gonna be doing his fucking event. There's a champion. Car's tail. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that before. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, there's a big boy.
Nice. Oh, look at him! <laughs> Why is he- did he always do that? That's funny. They're, like, they're both doing that. He's like oscillating between like sitting and standing for some reason. Or something, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know why that's happening. Oh, I like the color they gave their plush. That sky scale, I think. Yeah. It's really cute. Oh yeah, I kind of remember this. But yeah, there's two different metas here, right? There's one for the storm and one for like the lab, I think. If I recall correctly. It has been a long time, so I don't know. Oh hell yeah! What a good time to have this. Oh, I only have like two left. Oh god, that sounds so terrible. <laughs> All the like flutes, which already sound bad on their own. I guess we should go and, like, fight him. Oh, we should definitely take this. Uh-oh. Ah! I wanted to use the Springer. Oh well. He's healing, fuck that. easy. Reeseborn Izides? Man, smashed face. Someone really needed that for some reason. Some clue as to the cause of his wrath. How much karma did that? Nineteen hundred. That's it. So why we need to get more of those uh, karmic retribution things? That's like thirty-six. Only gave like that much. Hopefully I have enough magic. Yes. Oh no, it's 5,000! Oh no, it increases! Oh, damn it.
Man, that was not very much. Well, I think we'll be, like, killing Awakened here, at least. Oh, but right now it's just golems we're killing. Hey, a champion, nice. Sucks it wasn't kill inquest this week. What are you doing up there? We didn't kill him in time. Actually, I don't remember if you actually kill Awaken during this meta. Cross skills are great for breaking break bars. So is it better than Springer for that? That's something I was kind of wondering. Cause that was like the other thing that Springer was good for was just like breaking bars. I guess I can try Askin. It'd be funny if they like made Springer even more useless. That was like genuinely the only thing Springer had left. Right in Springer, we're clocking out being out in combat. Yeah, his Springer's done. Springer is is completely useless. That's so funny. They went like invulnerable or something. It's not fair. Can I please target him? Thank you. 
Start with Springer, continue with Claw. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. So it has a little bit, just a little tiny bit of use. Yeah, that makes sense though. Oh, fuck you, man. I thought we had to kill these guys at the same time, but like no one is fighting him except me. And that's making me get killed. Okay, so that's not like the other ones. Hey, we did it. Your contributions to Inquest Science will be a shining footnote in my breakthrough research. Plasma weapon catch. Oh, I don't like this weapon set that much. I I just don't think I think it doesn't look that good. My God, Mystic Coins. Spear to CC. Spear is two hundred. Defines War Claw pulled as one fifty. The Spear to CC2 with three charges. If you unlock the mastery. Wait, this one? No. Oh, I think they mean to use spear while you're mounted? I thought that's just what this is. I don't know. Now I just mount the Warclaw after Springer engage. I mostly use the Warclaw now because it can be mounted in combat. Okay. Net spear, hero menu, harpoon. Oh yeah, like that's that was always like confusing. Like, cause it was almost like because there's like the spear gun and there's like the spear, but sometimes they're both called called harpoon. Or sometimes it's called like spear and harpoon gun, or it's harpoon and spear gun. It's like they like have the names interchangeable and it gets like really confusing. Hey, how come you could go through there? Oh, it's this thing. It's one of these, uh, puzzles. I remember how to do it. Oh yeah, that was easy. It is so easy! Off. I'm trying to do shit. Oh, I fucked it up then. Ah! Uh, hey, go fuck yourself. This is not working. Oh my 
god. Ah, shit. Oh, this is not gonna work either. Oh, yeah, it is. I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's like the commander went in here, so I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I think this is just like a... It doesn't lead to anything. Hey, Astra, what's up? Alright, let's go do bounty. I'm still trying to get that flopping fish tonic, but I need like a fuck ton of karma. Oh, this thing! Yeah, I got the thing. This is rather rare. So that's why I'm here. Um, this is like a different command. That's why I'm here, cause like there's dailies here. Ah, oh, that's dumb. And I was told that doing dailies gives you karma. And the daily is on this. There's dailies on this map, and I was also looking up a karma guide. And there's also this map in general is good for karma, so. We're gonna do this, I guess. So we get 175,000 karma. And then uh, maybe I'll finally do the thing I was gonna do. So it's not right. Ah, damn it. I have a little bit of Karmic Retribution, but I don't have enough. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Yeah, that does do some nice CC. And the power creep in this game is real, but you know what? I fucking love it. Because I love going back to old maps and just like demolishing everything. It's so great. Head. I love, like, killing their heads. Die. You can see, like, it's veins and, sh like, tendons and shit. That's awesome. Can the heads even attack? I'm not even sure they can even attack you. I keep- I don't know why I keep doing that. Dude, we are, like, so close. Where- where did this commander go? Great, now I'm inside the enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Freaking waypointed, probably. You know, I still need to kill Awakened on this map, too. Maybe that's what I should do. Instead of go to the bounty. remember where they are. I just know they're like in the lab somewhere. Oh, I'm being poisoned. I should probably not be in here. Uh-oh. Live! I made it. Oh, hey, look! Awakened! And we can kill them. Who's this guy? Rise! Be nice that these guys would kind of be together. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Now we will really kill a bunch of shit. Yeah, we're Reaper and we're Power Creep, so we can just kill everything. Like it's nothing. Ah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Easy. See, those are all inquests in there. You're dumb. <laughs> it's just you're dumb. That's all. This is another map I haven't been to since I like was able to get a computer that can like play with better graphics because this looks really pretty with like the reflection. jumping puzzle in here. I don't know if I really want to do it. But there are Awakened I can kill. remember how this jumping puzzle works. I just remember it was like annoying. How many more do I need to kill? Lab is in lockdown. Password override required. Oh, it's nothing. Can you like glide on this? No, then why is it here? Oh well. I don't really want to do this. I just want to kill the awakened.
I'm guessing you get the password from here. Flop? <laughs> Why is that your name? Got the password. I did it. Oh, these guys like respawn quickly. What's the point of that? <clears throat> oh, okay. Wait, is that it? Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I knew there was something like that, but I couldn't remember. Call me cynical, but the directive to back up our data on the main network. Please don't kill me. Fine, I guess I won't kill you. Aware. Not like that, I guess. I don't even know why I'm doing this. You know. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to them. No? This is supposed to be doable without glider. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh, god damn it. Is I already down here? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go, I think. Seem to not do anything. Guessing that disabled something else. Bye. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm supposed to go there? Let's go there. Oh, they totally did that on purpose so you couldn't get there with glider. Is that it? Was that the whole thing? Destroy! Can't destroy it, that's so sad. Alright, well that's enough of that.
can't you like consume Ecto for karma? But that seems like really not worth it. All right, did I do everything here? I did. Ember Bay? Do I really want to do that? I mean, I could. I guess I will. Where the hell is all that shit? Oh, it's up here. I mean, as long as it's not, um, Draconis Mons, I really don't like that map. I think I just hate doing all of the map completion and the achievements and stuff, and it's just, like, really annoying to traverse. I do not like that map. I wish- I wish- there probably is a way to do this indirectly, but, like, I wish you could, like, um, convert this into unbound magic, because I have so much- or into volatile magic, because I have so much unbound magic. Is this worth it? Not really. I mean, I already have, like, a accessory. Well, I guess I only have one ascended accessory, but... Well, whatever. We'll just buy this. Yay! Now I have, like, no fucking unbound magic. Oh, maybe I should have bought that. No, probably not, though. Alright, well now we can hopefully get some karma here. Destroyer boss or worm boss? Ember Bay Tour. Oh, that's where you glide around on the- oh no, it's not. I thought that's when you like glide around on the ley lines, like around the whole island. From the sky, okay. Oh wow, you can actually go to Rotanovis from here. See, that's what I mean when I like one sort of like, um... Even if it's just like the, um... Uh, expansion map and living world maps are connected. I still think that's cool. Your dragon friend. You don't look like a dragon, but I guess Silvari are dragon minions. It's actually cool. But I don't know, I feel like the mushroom head kind of ruins it a little bit. Can I please glide here? Oh yeah, I can use sky scale. Even better. Oh dude, I was getting stuck like between the two of them. I think. Oh dude, wait, unbound magic though. I'm not even collecting it. I didn't even collect it, what the heck? There we go. So, yeah, I guess the hitbox doesn't really line up if you use sky scale. Or at least not that well, I don't know. There we go. Oh no. Yay. That must be what they mean, though. Yeah. Hearts are there? There's five. Let's get this over with. I guess I could like do this event. Eat the sloth plant with full buckets. Um. Okay. Remember this being fucking in the way. Maybe I don't care that much about this event.
Yay. So I think it's something you have to like keep going back and forth and it's super... Maybe it's not that bad. Rolling devil fertilizer? Wait, does that mean it's just like rolling devil shit? Oh, it is, isn't it? I didn't throw this far away. Well, this is not going to count for the renowned heart, is it? Remember there was like some achievement here where you had to like collect like apples or something and like you had to run all the way like back and forth between here and like over there and you can only do like a certain number per day. I don't even remember. I just remember it was like super fucking annoying. But I think I completed that achievement so I don't have to do it anymore. Fortunately. Oh, the right now heart's there. Just kill them all. She well, he's like answer. dead in angle. <laughs> His head is like in the ground. I do need to do the worm. Huh. In pain with a minor in suffering. I just need to rem <clears throat> remember where that is. I guess it's way up there. Let's see if this will be convenient. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Fuck. Oh, damn it. Hang on, Golem. We'll help you. Is this Yeah, that's part of it, I think. Worm. You remember what you do. Protect energy relays. Help Smushatron to be Vermignus. Oh god, being killed. Fuck you.
So I guess you don't, like, kill the worm directly. It's one of these kinds of things. Ah, they're all dead. Everything is, like, getting killed instantly. We should get this, uh, waypoint. Wherever, wherever the hell it is. Oh, there it is. At this point, I might as well just use the sky scale. Everything just dies like almost instantly. Like as soon as it spawns. Ooh, a champion. Yo, you can actually damage it. That's interesting. Probably not gonna do a whole lot, but... Uh-oh. Stop. did it. And I got a thing. That's all it is? A trophy? Wait, what is the point of this? Oh, you salvage it. I guess it gives you something good. Wait, do I not give them the dwarven artifact? What is this? Ooh. If these readings are accurate, then that could mean. I hate when the Renal heart is like that. It's like, how is it not complete? I guess it doesn't matter what I salvage it with. Like, are you sure you want to salvage this item whose only purpose is literally to be salvaged? What do I do with this? Just like pour it on a golem? Catch fireball. That sounds fun. Catching a fireball in like a wooden bucket.
Oh wait, <laughs> I think I had to actually press the skill. Yeah, I did it. Do you like, want this? Petrified Karka Egg. Definitely don't want that. Friend of Science? No, I don't want that. Oh, <gasps> I have enough karma, dude! Finally, after all this time, we're gonna do this. And I don't even care how much... How much money <laughs> this will cost. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, I shouldn't have gone here. I was gonna- should've gone to the other waypoint. This is fucking it. Finally gonna do it. Finally gonna get this fucking thing. Oh, I have to- that's okay. I have so many, like, heart tokens. Look. We can buy it, dude. Yes! It took so long, but we finally have it! We can be fish! I can finally make the character I want to make. Actually, I kind of want to do homestead stuff, though. I want to, like, finally do that shit. Hey, Roasted Bloop! Thanks for coming! Oh, this guy has cool gloves. Reach loaders. That is so metal. I love that. Oh my god, I want these. Where do you get these? Are they, are they only heavy armor or can I get a not heavy version? Dude, I really want either this or the Crichton top thing. Like, that would look so good on this character. Gem store. I was never really happy with this character's top, and the problem with Asura is they always get like the male version of armor, so there aren't really like kind of like feminine, like kind of tops like that. They're kind of like skimpy. Not that I'm going for something like really skimpy, but a lot of the kind of punky stuff is like skimpy, but like you can't really get that on Asura usually. So I need to, like, remember how you even go to your fucking homestead. It was, like, around here, right? So I don't have, like, the portal. I think you have to craft it? I'm not really sure, to be completely honest. I just remember all the story steps were, like, around here. The fuck do you go to your homestead? No, you get it. From where? Is it up here? Like from this dude? Do you do some stuff here with the guy here? Your homestead. I bring you and Will a gift for helping make my house a home. But will I not get achievement for this? Oh, nice! So you can do this outside of that story instance. Once done, you can access it anywhere, but I don't... That's like an item, right? I never... I never got an item from it. Did the game, like, glitch or something? So I never... I never got an item for that. I did the entire story. So... Yeah, I don't know. Is 
Is that the only way to get to the uh, homestead? Check that slot where you pick your skiff, etc. Oh, whoops. Novelty? Is it a novelty? Bottom of skill swap. What equipment? Skill swap. Oh, do you mean here? Why, did, why don't they make it obvious? Oh, right, this thing. Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. I feel dumb. Conjured doorway acts as a public invite for others to join your party. Oh, this is so cute! Can you get other skins for it, or am I mistaken? New alternate characters in the homestead. Log out with those characters resting in the homestead. Or to view. Let me change the stream title. The title I have in mind might be too long, but we'll see. You see. Yeah, if I typed out the whole game names, it'd be too long, but... Probably in the future. Yeah, because it's just, like, it's so detailed, but it's also such a specific kind of aesthetic. So I don't know where they would put, like, a skin option, but I mean, I think I would just make something. I like to know about unlocking home. Okay. Oh, set the time of day. That's cool. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, imagine if they made it so you could pick different seasons. Because right now, this is very, like, autumn y, which is very beautiful. But it'd be so cool if you could put, like, different seasons. Yeah, you're right. It does have all of your home instance stuff. So, home instance is, like, also canceled. <laughs> It's also friendship ended with home instance. What's this? Ah. Oh, no way! All my mounts are here? That's so cool! You can pet them! They can see how sick they all look together. Oh, that's cool! Oh, this is cool! Because now it's also like canon where your mounts are when you're not using them. You gonna make him fall off. Oh, wait. Haha, <laughs> fuck you! You fell. Okay, <laughs> it's dumb. Yeah, because before it's like, well, where are your mounts when you're not using them? Like, they're warping in from somewhere, right? Man, they all look so sick. The colors are so good. 
One thing I kind of dislike is I'm pretty sure that the griffin and the skimmer have like the same skin. It's like the same set, but the skimmer looks so good while the griffin just looks okay. I think it's because on the skimmer there's kind of this like black to dark purple ombre on it and then the pink looks really good on top of that. But this doesn't really have that same thing going on. I mean it does a little bit, but it's like not as visible. I guess just because it's like a different texture. It's like feathers versus like just skin. Oh, you can buy stuff here. Oh, that's so cool! Wait, will this count towards this mastery? Actually have- oh my god, it's kind of like expensive for coins, but... That'd actually be so sick. If it counts towards this mastery. Oh, you just consume it, don't you? Must be on a war claw. Oh, I see. It does count for this. That is so sick. Spring retreat. No, not you. Not on spring retreat. Not recently consumed a Springer Tree. But I didn't consume a Springer Tree recently. Okay, maybe I was using it too fast. That's probably what happened. Why? Okay, weird, but whatever. Well, first I need to see what I want to even craft. Set upgrade. I mean, I'm sure that's all very useful, but... Can I just buy this? Because, like, I can? Allowed per week. Okay, but these are permanent, right? You don't have to like, buy them over and over. You can do fishing here as well? Sick. I mean, there's no reason not to buy these if I can, I think. I mean, first I should, like, see what I even, like, need to craft, I think. Oh man, this is so great. Wait, can you like... Main and ground mode until effects timer ends qualify for achievement. And you like remember again how to do this. Oh, I was wondering if you could move these. Wouldn't have that been cool? I guess I kind of see why you can't. It would have been cool if you could. I guess there's no reason not to be in edit mode, because you can still do everything else, I think. Let's see. Yeah, first I need to see, like... Oh, man, that's lame. Like, I kind of get it, but, like... They should let you mount. Yeah, you can fish. I guess I will just walk. Mr. Quiggles. Oh, I thought we didn't make him yet. Or maybe it's different. Show or hide? Of course show him. Cooking station. Handy work workstation. Oh, that's nice. It's really cool to, like, everything fits, like, where it makes sense, you know? What do I even want to make? I can't make anything. Well, not- I can't make anything, but... Um, can equip... We should... Oh, this is probably way. 
Yeah, tier lock, so maybe don't show it. The two. Why can't you, like, hide stuff that you can't craft? You just didn't see what it looks like. Or can we? Can't even really see what it looks like. It's just like... It's just like an illustration. I don't care about, like, obstacles. This almost reminds me a little bit of the, like, secret bases in Pokemon. Because so sometimes you can make, like, obstacle courses. Grave marker, you can make a graveyard. I kind of want to just start with, like, regular ass furniture. Signal lantern. Well, I should start with stuff I can actually craft. It does seem like kind of an oversight that there's no way to see what it looks like, as far as I can tell. Basic flagpole. Can you put, like, any flag on it? Purple torch. It's an obstacle, but it might look cool as, like, not an obstacle. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's almost, like, overwhelming how much there is. It's like, where do I even start? Sink. I think Guildhall Deco just improved vastly. Yeah. Can you put stuff in it? Probably not. Is this is what I already have. See, that's the thing. Like... These have literally the same icon, so it's like, how am I supposed to know what it looks like? Oh, let's make this. Let's make like a nice kitchen. Or something. Jungle grass seed. Oh, we, we like Terraria now with jungle grass seeds. Yeah, let's make some, like, kind of gothic, like, torches. So we got, like, green and purple. I think that would look good. Crooked mushroom. That could be cute. You need, like, so much, like, different random shit for this. Can make like a rainbow of torches. That could be nice. Festival tent. That sounds kind of cute. Or is it just like an umbrella type thing? I don't know. Maybe I should make it anyways. I don't know. Can't make that yet. So you, you have to you have to level up through mastery, right? That looks like it might be nice. I don't know. I don't like that you can't see what they actually look like. Hub of wood glue. Haven't left Lowland Shore on chapter four of story. Yeah. I kind of wish... Uh, let me get out of here. So I said basically a, ba a bank access in here. Can you plant these or am I mistaken? I'd be totally wrong about that. I also kind of like forget how the like the the um like Grandmaster Chef stuff works because I haven't done it in so long. Oh no, I guess that's not right. Hello. Oh, I don't want to fucking do that. Greetings. That's right. You craft seed pouches, right? Uh, 
Oh, that's right. Oh, I need this shit, though. Oh, fuck that. I don't care. I don't even care that much about planting shit. Just like, oh, it might look nice if there was, like, plants in there. So is this the only crafting, the only handiwork workbench in here? Or wait, can you move it? Because I'm just thinking, like, I'm going to be crafting, I'm going to be putting furniture inside the house. But, like, I would have to go so far away. Like, if I go in the house, I'm like, oh, it, this would look good in here. And I have to, like, run all the way back out here to get it, to make it. I don't know. All my Nekos can be over here, too, which is nice. Look at all this empty space. It's kind of... It's like a greenhouse in here, kind of. I mean, it seems like a place I should put kind of garden-y stuff. Well, I feel like this is the kind of thing where it's just like... You just have to start with something, and then you can kind of build off of that. You want to, like, figure out how you want to, like, put shit... Is it just called obstacle because it has collision? Is that all it is? Collect decoration. This is actually like more intuitive than I thought it would be. This probably is not gonna be like centered with the other one. No, not down. Like, the fact that you can, like, move it to the general location with this, but then, like, do this in order to, like, you know, for fine-tuning, that's actually really nice. It's floating. I think it might be floating. I still wish they had- and maybe there is- but I wish they had, like, snap to the ground, or snap to, like, not clipping into the wall, you know what I mean? I don't think they have something quite like that. Oh, see, this looks cool! Dude, I can have my bedroom be in here. That could be cool, actually. I kind of like the idea of having, like, cool shit in here. Yeah, and it would be so cool if you could move these. I wonder if the idea is just like... I don't know. Maybe they're just not programmed for doing that, but they could just like... change it so it was programmed for that. Right, I... I you might have been the one that told me, but someone else did tell me that they got someone who worked on The Sims to... to... to do this decoration thing. And it fucking shows because of how good it is. It's almost slightly overwhelming, like, how much space there is to decorate, but it's also, like, a good thing. And they do kind of have some stuff set up already, like, oh, this is, like, a kitchen area, and here's your dining room, and here's your living room, but obviously you don't have to have it be like that. But it is nice to sort of have something to start with. Can I move the stairs? No. <laughs> That'd be kind of interesting if the stairs were like an item. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to like put everything in that room. I think I'm gonna like do that. Like, I don't even care. It's like not a good place for like a bedroom. I just want to do it. 
think I think I don't want the fireplace in there though. That just kind of seems weird. There's like this one item I removed from here, but it like didn't go to storage. Whoa. Oh god, that's that's crazy. Wait, can you move like patches of like plants and shit? Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. I don't really have a reason to remove this, but okay. But that is helpful, because then it kind of shows you, like, what you can actually move. I did not expect to be able to move, like, the this grass. I can't move, like, the- like, corn and stuff, so it's kind of like, what's the point? Like, what else would I put there? It's just gonna be, like, dirt. This is a cool fence. Um... You know what I wish? If there is a way to see what the item was called. I'm like, oh, this looks cool. I don't want to move this or remove it. But it looks really cool. I want to know what it's called so I can, like, make another one. But that doesn't seem to be the case. No. Traditional code in bed. I want to see what the fancy one looks like. Oh, whoops. See, that's the problem is I already have L as something else. Collection box. Oh. Okay. How do I get wood glue? I don't really play around with housing, but damn, looks like Guild Wars 2 literally smacked housing out of the park with deco. Yeah, I mean, they did not half-ass this one bit. It's- Like I said, it's almost- it's almost kind of overwhelming, like, how much you can do. Maybe... Guild chair. Oh, that sounds cool. I need honey flower. Is there a way to, like... This is another reason why it'd be nice if you could, like, move these things. Because, like, if you just had all this stuff all next to each other, that would be, like, really nice. But, oh well. I guess I can see why they wouldn't do this, but it'd be cool if you could, like, change this back into these, you know what I mean? I like how she's saying goodbye to the crafting station. What? Oh. <laughs> it's like, why Why am I up there? Spirits of the wild welcome you. I don't care about you. Do you require my assistance? I mean, it, like, it's cool that all the home instance people are here, but then it's also like... Why are you way out here? <laughs> like, that That makes no sense. Oh, look at the clouds. That's cool. I don't even remember if I completed that, like, achievement or not, but I also don't care. Okay, I was wondering if there'd be more times of day besides that. Like, if you could do, like, evening... That's interesting, you can't at least change it to, like, dusk or dawn. Wah, that's, like, blinding. It's not even the rainbow you can see from here, so, like, screw that. 
Like, why would I ever not have it be nighttime? Yeah. I like to change movement options. Why would you ever not want wildlife in there? Oh god, why would you ever do this? That'd be like a masochist to do this. Okay, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's why I figured. Oh, he sells stuff. No shit! I was not expecting this. Wait, can you usually buy these with Black Lion? Could you do this before? Like, buy these with... Oh, no shit! You can buy, like, infinite harvesting tools from here. That's crazy. You said harvesting upgrades. Oh, nice. Oh, this is where you get this. I'm glad I have so many of these coins. Polychromatic... Let's see. Like, that sounds like it should be cool. Then I feel like it isn't. Okay, not that you can see it on here. I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, with the right dyes, it could probably look cool. I always appreciate when they actually make the... But armor fit on a Sura feet. So they didn't always do that. It's kind of just like stained glass. Which is cool. I mean, stained glass looks cool, and that could definitely be like a cool combination. But, I don't know if I would put it on anyone. I'm not huge into that. Actually, do these all look the same? Oh, they do. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not loving that- I mean, part of it's the way it's died, I'm sure, but I'm not loving how that looks. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Oh, this one- wait. Oh, this one does look different based on... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, because you know what that fucking means. You know what that fucking means is on the fucking medium version, this skirt part is part of the coat. Ah, oh, fucking medium gear. God damn it. That looks kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I could see myself doing that. But yeah, you go here and then it's... Yeah, I mean, I guess I kind of get it, because otherwise there'd be, like, clipping issues. I don't know. It Like, it's still dumb. Um, I looked at that already. Yeah, I mean, this could be neat. It, it costs so much research notes. Ooh. Oh! Okay, that's cool. Of course, I don't fucking have any of these, but... I'll have to, like, remember. Basic pedestal. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, I'll have to remember to, um... Hold on to these. Because I've definitely gotten, like, a bunch of these throughout my time playing, but then I always, like, gave them to the guild hall. <laughs> it's like, wow, what a fucking waste. I just like having bank access here, too. That's, like, the best thing about having this here. I don't think this one... Oh, this does give you bank access. 
I guess the only way I can get honey flowers is by just, like, gathering them. God damn it. I, wasn't there something I want to make with this wood glue? Oh, the flagpole. I really hope that you can, like, put different flags on it. That would be cool. I am glad that, like, collision doesn't really seem to be an issue with stuff here. You can just put stuff on anything. That look good. Maybe. Or maybe flags are like separate decorations that you can put on it. Because obviously just having a flagpole is like not that great. <laughs> you know, like without a flag on it, it doesn't look good. But I, I don't have a flag of any kind, so... Oh well. What is this? This is a cooking station? This whole thing is a cooking station. Wait. How oh, interesting. Isn't that the Metal Legion? That's Metal Legion, uh, like, band, uh, like, logo. Cause that's on this shirt. But it is cool, there's all these kind of random little nooks and crannies I feel like were made to, like, decorate with stuff. And there's my guild banner. Yeah, I wish you could kind of move more of these things, but maybe you can get, like, actual decoration versions of them. Huh. Yeah, I wish you could move that, because it's kind of, like, in the way if I want to put furniture in here. Maybe this is like a dumb place to put a bedroom, but oh well. I don't care. I can always change everything later. Yeah, that looks right. I don't know, but like, I like it though. I think it's just the stained glass. Like, just like the walls, this would be a really nice place to have a bedroom. Oh, I just thought of something. You can make it like a Sura size. Wouldn't that be funny? Right? I mean, why not? I am a Sura after all. I wonder what, like, insane glitches people have found with this. Because it just- it just seems like the kind of thing that could have, like, a lot of weird exploits. You know what? I know this is the basic Coda bed, but this bedspread is really pretty. Like, this is actually really beautiful. I don't know how much of the colors on here are from the lighting, but it's really nice. Let me see. Oh, you know what? Can't actually interact with it, though. I don't know if that's because I changed the size. That's dumb. Could you never interact with the placeable ones? Because you could, like, interact with the chairs and stuff. Well, I guess we'll find out. Well, I don't have any, like... This is cool that this is sorted by... Like, expansion? 
I don't think they, like... Uh, is there currently, like, decorations that are in a different category from Chanther? Or is that just basically saying, hey, in future expansions, we're going to have its own furniture? Or did they actually retroactively go back and, like, add things that are from not Chanther? Or I guess this is specific to... I don't know. Like, is this Chanther Wilds because the type of furniture that they have here? Or is it Chanther Wilds because you get this furniture from this expansion? If that makes sense. I do like that you can't change the size so much, because now I, I can make this be like a whole thing. I wonder- there must be like a limit to how big you can make stuff, but I also kind of wonder, like, for things like this, like, how big you can make them before the texture, like, gets blurry. Like, this still looks really good. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, see, this is nice, because then there's, like, an entryway. There's, like, kind of a hallway type thing. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I want to make more of these. This is what I mean. It's, like, once I start decorating, I'll, like, just have, like, an idea of how to, like, build off of it. But this is also what I mean about, like, they should let you put the workbench somewhere else. Or have, like, more than one or something. I can make so many of these, this is great. Like, God knows I was probably not using this for anything else. Oh, this is the the map currency. But you know, another thing about this is like, if someone bought- Like, if this was the only expansion someone bought, this like, is another way to incentivize them to buy all the other expansions. You know? As if they're like, oh, I want to make these cool torches and I need lay crystals. Then it's like, I guess I have to go buy Heart of Thorns. <laughs> I'd love for these to like line up, but I don't know if I can actually make that work. Oops. Let's do this. Move all that shit out of there. I think it needs to be rotated slightly. Another thing where it'd be cool if it, you could, like... Not just snap to the wall in terms of, like, position, but also in, like, uh, rotation. Oh god, see, this is another thing where I'm gonna get so perfectionist over it. Oh, that doesn't even affect that. Okay, never mind. Oh, see, I think that's what I wanted. It's like, if I do that... Oh, yeah, see, this is what I want. The fact that you can toggle between it easily, though, is really nice. I can use this for, like, figuring it out if it's at the right angle. But then I can change it for, like... For actually moving it. God. I don't think, because I can do this and move it. That really, I feel like, yeah, that's what I thought. It didn't look. My god. I'm gonna get so perfectionist over this, I'm gonna go insane. But it's because of the fact that you can make it line up perfectly. 
Where's my green torch? There you are. Show favorites. That's a good idea. I've said this before, I've never actually played The Sims, which I know is, like, insane. So I don't know how much of this interface is, like, The Sims, but whatever it is, it's really fucking good. I don't know if I can get this perk. Which would mean that the doorways aren't perfectly aligned, which will make me feel insane. Are the doorways not perfectly aligned? That's terrible. Wait, can't you move the doorways? Dude, I think you can move the doorways. No, I don't care if it's clipping into some rocks. I don't care. Seems like they should be- the doorways should be aligned, but I guess they aren't. Well, it's hard too, because... There's, like, perspective on the camera, so it's probably, like, distorted a little bit. I don't know. Some are static. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I think the most important thing is just have it look good when you're not, like, looking super closely at it. Because, like, the stuff where I'm, like, trying to line it up perfectly, I mean, if the only way you can tell that it's off is by doing that, then it probably doesn't matter too much. Yeah, you're right. You can't change this one. That looks nice! I like that. I wish there was a version of this that, like... Yeah, I wish there was a version of this that, like, highlighted things you can move but wasn't, like, x-ray vision. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised if other MMOs start poaching sim devs. I know, right? Like, yeah, that's actually a good point. And not just, not just MMOs, but really any other, like, type of game that wants to add something like this. That's actually a really good point. That's actually really interesting. Like, I don't know if he said that as a joke, but that might actually genuinely, like, become a thing. Man, what am I gonna put down here? Usually a dungeon, or usually a basement, is like a good place to put like a BDSM dungeon. <laughs> you know, this pillar looks kind of like shit. I don't think you can change it. I guess you can just like put stuff over it. I want to put this somewhere else. Just don't know where yet. Like, I feel like it would look nice in here. I mean, you'd want, like, a lot of shelves in your kitchen, right? I mean, now it's a divider. Oh, look how small it is! That's funny. That's actually really funny, like, seeing, like, the actual default size of things being, like, way different than you thought. Just make it go towards the ceiling, maybe, because that might look nice. I can, like, actually see. That looks nice, I think. And you just know people are making like insane sh 
my god, what if... I guess that's the one problem with having this, like, act as a shelf instead of a divider is there's stuff on the other side. Dude, what if, like, I don't know what kind of furniture or how much they'll end up putting in the game. I'm just thinking of, like, stuff from other games you could recreate or, like, anything. Because I've definitely tried to recreate some, like, Yakuza locations in Animal Crossing. And it's like, if they introduce the right furniture, then I just thought of something. What if they make... What if they introduce, like, Canton furniture? Wouldn't that be so awesome? Like, imagine having all the, like, cyber stuff from New Kining, and then, like, Asura, like, Magitek. Like, that would be so sick. You know, I think I like having kind of, like, a living room type area up here. It's actually really nice. I like how can you can just be like, be gone. Be gone. <laughs> also, I like how the, like, flower pot was floating after I took away the... the other thing. The, that it was sitting on. It's also crazy you can change the size of stuff. Oh, that looks good. See, that looks nice. <laughs> this is such a nice, like, fireplace for real. It's really fucking nice. Oh, I have an idea. This could be like super cute. Look how tiny it is, dude! Like even for Asura, it's like so tiny. Wouldn't it be cute to put like cooking stuff here? I do kind of wish there was a way to move it after it was placed without using the sliders. Because, you know, like, when you first place it and it, you can move it around, like... Didn't I make a deep pot? I guess I didn't. You can move it around like this. I kind of wish you could, like, do that after it's been moved. Oh, it kind of does snap to things a little bit, which is nice. I don't even care if it's clipping. It looks nice there. Now let's move it. Uh-oh, that's not why. There we go. I think. No! How do I fucking select the plant? Oh no! Oh, why did it do that? No, it was perfect. Now it's ruined. Oh no. Oh god. I have a feeling that's gonna happen a lot when I'm doing this. Okay, fortunately only the rotation changed and not like the whole thing. God. I think it's okay. How do I select just the plants? But it selected the hearth again! Like, what? Look, the plant. And now it's the hearth! What the fuck? How am I supposed to do this? What the fuck? Okay, maybe 
maybe this, maybe the decoration is not that good, actually. Why can't I select just the plant? Like, even when the it's highlighted. Oh my god. This is, like, not good. Let the place decoration the instance, but it should only pick one thing. So here, like, okay, so now the hearth is not lit up. Now it is, but now, like, the plant is, or the hearth, like, both of them, like, you can't... Like, I guess I'll have to move the hearth and then move the plant, which I really don't want to do. That is so stupid. I don't like that. That's not- that's not a good design, ain't it? That's not good. Cause you know people are gonna do, like, really intricate decorating with, like, piling a bunch of shit on top of each other. But it's like, how are you gonna be able to adjust it if you have to do that? That really sucks. Let's make this smaller. Get like a cute little plant. Okay. Well, we got that to work out eventually, I guess. Odin vanity utensil rack. What if we put one up here? Because I like the idea of it being near the hearth if I'm going to like do cooking there, but it doesn't really make sense if it's not like... Accessible. I mean, you could do this, but I don't know. I think that's, like... Actually, that kind of looks good. I mean, I think in real life, if you did this, the utensils, if they're, like, metal, they would, like, get too hot to touch them, but... <laughs> I kind of like it, and then it makes, like, another shelf I can put stuff on. Well, actually, there's two ways I could do this. I could have it like this. There's, like, a shelf to put them on. To put stuff on. Oh, you know what? Because it has, like, a tusk thing sticking out. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's part of the hearth. We could do this. That look- No, that looks- That looks dumb. Because it's, like, coming out of a solid thing. No, so let's do, like... Yeah, like, honestly, I think that actually looks good. Let's make it, again, let's make it smaller so we can make it a Sura size. Right now, some of those utensils are, like, as big as my body. It does kind of make me wonder if they use similar tools, like the devs use similar tools when they're building maps. I mean, probably not, since this was like a sim, a sims dev made this. I'll see you like that looks cute, right? It's cute! Although, I guess, if we're going by, like, the height, it's kind of above a Sura height, but I don't really want to adjust anything after everything I've done with it. 
You know what I mean? I do kind of like that you have to build off of the, like, architecture that's already here because... I feel like it's one of those things where when there's limitations, it allows you to be more creative. Like, if- if the- even the interior and the architecture of the house was, like, something you could make from scratch, I feel like I wouldn't really know what to do, and I'd just make something, like, really basic. Those are floating. <laughs> oh, goodbye, uh, cabinet. Oh, see, these are Heart of Thorns. That's interesting. Oh, are they? Are they sorted by what expansion you get the materials in? I think so. Jungle rice? Is that even a thing? That would make sense, actually. Because at first I was like, how is it, like, Heart of Thorns themed because like where do you ever see this item in heart of thorns there's like no houses but it's like no it's because that's where you get the materials to make it so that makes sense oh god wait how do i go down And where'd my plant go? I thought this would make things easier, but I don't think- I guess it kinda did. Proton. I feel like I saw that. I've heard that plant like in Animal Crossing. It just sounds like a crouton. That looks nice. I think I'll um go with that. How do I? Oh, okay. I mean, I went down by aiming the camera down, but it's like, oh, maybe it's V. No. How the fuck do you go down? You go up with space. Oh well. I feel like um this B is going to make me fucking motion sick cuz the the camera is like so shitty. <laughs> I also want to get the achievements. No, I can do that another time. Yeah, that shit was, like, making me motion sick. That was not good. A woodsy cabinet. I guess we can start with the table. I think it'd be nice to have kind of, like... Like, the kind of, like, table and chairs where you're, like, seated on the floor. I kind of like that. Even if you... I don't know. Like, whatever makes it look like it's, like, straight on. I think that's good. Oh, that's good. Chairs. I only have this one. I mean, there's- I can get more. So, do you think this is a certain size? It probably could be a little bit smaller. It's not too far off. I don't think 
straight on. Yeah, I don't think actually using these for like to see if it's straight on or not, I don't think that actually works. Because I thought they would at least like align with maybe like the cardinal directions, but they don't. Oh well. I feel like it's still at an angle. Hard to tell. You know, the thing about this whole decoration thing is they can always approve upon it. It's like, I need- I want to be close to the table, but like, you also need leg room. That's pretty good. I might make the table a little smaller. I do like the chair being kind of big. Oh, and yeah, look, you can sit in furniture that you, like, change the size of. Oh god, the eyeballs. So I don't know why that bed you can't interact with. That's, like, kind of dumb. You can interact with other beds in the game. I can't sleep in my own bed, what the fuck? <laughs> That's messed up when you think about it. Bottle's attacking again. I feel like I might have fun with this while stoned, but I also might just, like, not be able to even, like, do the controls. <laughs> that looks nice. This- this bowl is floating. Oh no, and I won't be able to edit it because it's just gonna move the hearth, probably. So stupid. I really dislike that. Aina, you need to fix this. You need to let me, like, move stuff. That's, like, on another thing. Why have a difference between this if it's just gonna select the, the hearth anyways? It's so stupid. I don't like it. Oh well. This looks so nice, right? Army, like... Oh, should I have this closer to the hearth? Then it's like, if it's a fire, if it's like a cooking station, then you wouldn't want to have, like, a table too close to it and get in your way. Oh, I don't know. Well, I want to try something. That look nice? Oh, that does look nice! Oh, that's cute! Yeah, like I said, in real life, these tools like, they would probably get too hot to hold, being that close to the fire, but it looks really nice, so I don't care. What is this thing supposed to be? Another thing. I wish you could, like, see what it's called. Without, like, doing this. A writing desk. Oh, that's nice. I should put that in my bedroom. I feel like I'm kind of doing things opposite of how they intended. It's like the kitchen is upstairs on a balcony and the bedroom is in like this outdoor area. And you know what? I like it. Yeah, we're gonna have to make this way smaller. It needs to be a Sura size. But you know, it's nice that you can just change the size of shit. I wonder if that's why they add that option originally. Because it's like, wait, how are we gonna have all the furniture 
work for every race when they're like vastly different sizes. Loading. Maybe. Yes. say this is mostly like really pretty intuitive controls which is I like the idea of it being right next to the bed then this part of the bed will be in the way and if I pull it out from the wall it like looks weird and I guess it looks okay And I guess if I really don't like how this thing looks, I can just put furniture over it. Actually, I like it being in the corner. This is something I feel like they could do in Animal Crossing, is let you put things at an angle. So it's like in a corner. Because I was thinking about it, because Animal Crossing decorating is like grid based right but they introduced in happy home designer and then eventually put it into like new leaf and then new horizons you could put things like half on half a tile so you could move things in like half a tile so it's like what if you use like the half tile system to like put things at like a 45 degree angle i feel like you could i feel like they could do that and it wouldn't overcomplicate things too much and I think that'd be really nice, because I think putting things at a 45 degree angle can look really good. Like, in a game, but also in real life. Like, people do that and it looks good. Like, I remember where I was growing up, like the house I grew up in, in the family room where we had the TV. We had the TV like this in a corner, but it was like at a diagonal angle. I guess because... So you could see, like, um... could see the TV easily from, like, different angles. That too big. I feel like it's kind of big. I don't want it to be too small. I just think, like, it makes a nice- it, like, kind of changes the feel of the room in, like, a nice way. Pretend that piece of shit isn't there. <laughs> I don't- I think that looks nice. Now we should put this somewhere. Maybe we could put it- well, it's, it's almost like you don't need a light in here. But I think it would look nice, especially if you put it here. I think that would look nice. The local is the item, right? Actually, I don't. Actually, I have no fucking idea. I can't- okay, I don't know if this is, like, at the right angle or not. I don't know. It probably isn't. It's, it's probably supposed to be... Wait, how is it supposed to be? Now I'm confused. Wait, how is this supposed to go? Isn't it like this? No, it's gotta be like that, right? 
so fucking. Uh, yeah, it's like this, I think. Wait, is it fucking backwards? Oh my god. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna happen a lot, where it's just backwards and I don't even realize it. I'm like, what fucking angle does this go at? Yeah, it's like that. It's gonna be like fucking... The HRA and Animal Crossing when they like take points off because your item was like facing a wall. That's what it feels like. No, oh, why are you clipping now? Or is it? Oh, I don't think it is. I think that's just the angle. Okay. This is nice! This is, like, the best bedroom, dude. I don't know if the rug is centered. It's hard, because, like, the rocks on the base of the wall stick out different amounts. It's like, I can't really tell. But it doesn't matter that much. It's so lame that you can't sleep in the bed. I can't sleep in my own bed. Like, what were they thinking? Also, I want to try something with the chair. Since you can apparently... Um... Sit in the chair, even if you change the size. Sit. Oh, no! <laughs> They actually did something for that. Ah, oh, that would've been so funny, though. What's the biggest you can make it? Oh, you can make a throne. Oh, that's lame! Oh yeah, we'll take this game. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's a throne. <laughs> no, this is the kind of thing I would do stoned. I would just, like, make the furniture weird sizes and laugh. That's probably what I would actually do. Hmm. <clears throat> This would be nice to have here. Woodsy armchair. I'm definitely excited to see, like, all the furniture they'll add over time. Maybe stuff they already even have. I definitely would love to have, like, camp and stuff. Although, I do really like the cabin aesthetic. Let's see. I want this... I think I want this a little bit smaller, but just a little bit. Hard to tell. I do kind of like that it's kind of like incremental sizes. I think that kind of makes it easier. Oh, no, don't. Don't touch. Okay, good. I want to make sure I could sit in it. Can I, like, put it closer? Wait, was that why I couldn't sit in it? Even though it didn't say, but I was, like, in decorator mode, wasn't I? I guess I wouldn't say that if I couldn't. If I could still sit in it. See, that's nice. Ew, why is it daytime? 
They should let you make it so, like, the time stays static. Yeah. Let's see what else we can make of you. Knock back turret, lava floor. I don't think I'm interested in making like a fucking obstacle course. Snow pile. I mean, I guess you could force it to be winter by just covering everything with snow. Launching device. Frost Legion machine? What do you mean machine? Oh, so a lot of the stuff, they kind of did retroactively add. That's interesting. Loaded wagon? Oh, that's kind of cute. I love that you can make a graveyard. Also, there's a basic grave marker, so that means there's probably like a fancy one. What is loose strife? Large crystal block of the solid ocean. Infernal facade. You sound fucking sick. Majority disciplines research commemorative statue? What the hell is that? Veteran reward for having an extensively upgraded guild before Heart of Thorns? What? I guess you just get that from being in the guild? I don't know. That looks cute. Oh, is this like Super Adventure Box? That's cute. Lattice Planter with Daisies, Mossy Pillar. Signal Lantern, that sounds like that could be cute. Oh well, that'd be nice. A snake statue, cool. Crooked thorny mushroom, ooh. It'll be fun making all the like mushrooms. Yeah, it's too bad though, there's no way to see what these look like before you craft them. That seems like kind of a misstep, I think, or an oversight. Ooh, cool. Oh, that sounds neat. Row of candles. Ooh, I really want to make those. I want to make all these, like, candles. Oh, yeah. So I'm assuming you can put this on the flagpole? Or is this already come with a pole? I don't know. Dude, can you just, like, construct your own, like, pirate ship? That'd be insane. Ooh, I want this. Square fire pit. Ooh, that sounds nice. Potted fern tree. It looks like a palm tree. Well, the icon does at least. Ooh. Aden Maguma Lily, double bloom. That sounds really pretty. Oh yeah, so... Can you put your own armor on there? Oh, I want that. That looks cool. A Link statue. I definitely want that. Ooh. I don't care about chandelier. A day in Krita? Oh, that's a painting, isn't it? How cool. Oh, can you actually, like, make it say things? Ooh, a fountain. Ooh, that looks so cool. I'm assuming you can get, like, a guild flag or, like, other flags. Cheery Balloon Bundle. Comprehensive Disciplines Research Commemorative Statue. Damn. Effervescent Pod?
Build bar stool. Fuck yeah, you can build a bar. That'd be sick. Lit lantern. <laughs> this lantern is lit. <laughs> Ooh, that looks pretty. I don't even have any mistonium somehow. Probably use it all in something. The plants. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that looks neat. This thing? Yeah, I could definitely see myself crafting, like, a bunch of things. A white flag. That's nice. Oh, I totally want this. We have to, like, get on it for, like, farming, like, XP and shit. The heart of the Priory. Keg rack, fuck yeah. Potted night thistle bud, cool. I wonder if you can sit on this. A pumpkin? Char statue, cool. Stressed lion statue. It's called a tent, but I'm thinking it's gonna be like the umbrella. Not really sure. Guess you can make a tent and see. Yeah, it's an umbrella. I- or a parasol. I wouldn't call that a tent, personally. Yeah, it could be fun to make this. Ooh, interesting. Oh, this is what I should have made. This, this like, has food in it. Let's go see what the mushroom looks like. This is so pretty. I, like, I can see the northern lights even though it's, like, cloudy. Mushroom, trees and foliage. Ah, oh, cool! Of course you can change the size of all this stuff. How it looks in the lighting, it looks so great. Well, maybe I don't want it like right in the walkway. No. I wish there was, like, just an undo button. Because it kind of seems like there isn't. Like, there's this stuff. It doesn't just go back one step. I don't I'm sure there's an option to turn off the, like, kind of phantom thing of its original placement. I like I'm trying to see how this looks and it's not really not really able to do so. The problem is it doesn't have the cool lighting. 
if it's like here. And fuck it, we're gonna put in the walkway because it just looked better there. Everything about it looked better. Let me see if it's like really annoying. No, I don't think it is. In fact, the most annoying thing is that it's not centered. Yeah, I like it there. I don't care. What else did I make? Oh yeah, the Coden soup kettle. I guess it doesn't make that much sense to have it here, since it has its own fire, like, under it, but I don't care. I don't have anywhere else to put it currently. So you could kind of do that, and it kind of doesn't look terrible, I guess. Got the spoon sticking out so you can, like, actually reach it. You know, you almost can't tell that's like part of it's clipping in there. Yeah, why not? We'll put this somewhere. See, it's nice to have like plants out here. Thing. Let's go put the vanity downstairs. Hmm. I'm doing that thing where I just put all the furniture against the wall. <laughs> nice though. See, isn't it so nice having something like at an angle in the corner? I just think that's so nice. I wish there was a way to grab multiple things and move them all. That'd be a nice thing to add. Like, I can understand not being able to no, they should let you, like, rotate and resize it, too. That'd be cool. But whatever. See, this is nice. This is like a nice little bedroom, I think. I'm a little bit curious what, how it looks without the grass, but I feel like it's not gonna look that good. It's look empty. I don't really want to place any of those things. Oh, 
let's see what we have here. Wizard's Tower. Lowland Shore. Oh! So look how, like, whimsical this is. I love it. Lion's Art. All right, give me one second. I think I've had my fun in the homestead for now, so I think now I want to actually, like, make the new character I've been talking about so for so long. So I am gonna need to delete someone, but I realized like I was planning on deleting her and I realized that that actually works with her story. Because her whole story is that she like used so much like cyanide green on her clothes that she was like dying and she was like near death. And so she became a necromancer, like, A, because she was closer to the myths being, like, near death, but also it kind of would help her, like, accept her own death by, like, channeling it, I guess. So now I'm deleting her. You can just say canonically that she finally, like, succumbed and passed away. That was- that was part of her lore, was that she was gonna die, so... Rest in peace, Lady Cyanide Green. Yeah, cool design and, like, pretty cool lore, I think, but, you know, I can fucking spell it. But it was always part of your lore that you were gonna die. Especially since I didn't really have that much to do with you, to be honest. I did, and I did already take all of her items off of her. I made sure, so you don't have to worry about that. I did, like, waste a level 80 boost on her, which I kind of wish I didn't, but... Oh well. So this guy I'm making is going to be a Norn. And he is going to be... My first male Norn, I never had any, because, I don't know, I guess the male Norn just seemed, like, too masculine. Like, I never had an interest. And they were so, like... I felt like a lot of the kind of, like, right-wing, like, white supremacist players would, like, always pick male Norn. So they always saw- they also always kind of had that, like, connotation for me. Even though, obviously, tons of players play on male Norn and they're not like that, and people would use them to make, like, joke characters. But I don't know, like, I just didn't vibe with it. I think I'm finally ready. He's gonna be a ranger. And I remember I had made a character. It was during one of the, like, um, beta test things. I made one that I really liked how he looked. I don't remember... I hope I, like, saved a picture of him, because I thought... I thought I was, like, wanting to do that. Oh god, I hope I have a picture of him. picture. I might not have saved the picture. I swear I made him and I was like, oh, this looks so great. I'm definitely gonna use him. Uh, okay, maybe I didn't. I could just remake him from scratch. I don't remember how he looked. I remember I really liked how he looked. Maybe I posted him in Discord. Or something. I also don't remember doing that, so I don't know. You know what I wish you could do? Do you know you can change the background for the character select? I wish you could, like, change the background and the music independently. Oh, was not this far back. 
Otherwise, I would have to, like, look through my own stream, and I, like, don't want to fucking do that. Uh, I'm thinking... I didn't actually save a picture of him. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I never made, like, a version of him. I don't know. We'll just make whatever. That size is fine, I think. Oh, you know what? I was like, why does the skin tone have, like, a purple purplish hue? It's because he has a tattoo. I mean, it's still a little bit of the lighting, but I think it's mostly the tattoo. Let's see. I like that. I think his height is good. Wait, male Nornets seriously have only five body types they can pick from? I think I like this. Or this. Part of the thing is, like, when you make them buff, they also get, like, veiny and it's, like, kind of gross. I don't think I want him that slim. I don't see him as being like a real like beefcake either. Maybe I'll go with this. And this hair is kind of distracting. Or let's get rid of the beard first. <laughs> I'm not making him bald, I just. I do want, like, kind of a gentle-looking face, so, like, not like that. But I don't want him too, like, Bishonen, either. Man, like, I, have n I don't think I've ever made, like, a male Norn before. I think even when I made the other guy, I might have just gone with, like, the default look. I think I do like this face. I know it's crazy when they like um introduced all those other like like African American type faces, Asian type faces for like humans. They kinda didn't do that with the Norn, did they? That's kinda weird. They had all these like like more like black looking facial features for humans. They didn't add that for the Norn. I like this face. Okay, what do we want to do for hair? This, like, really ugly. Let's see. What do I want to do for the hair? No, I think maybe I will do deep breath. Do I want him to do I want him to have a fucking headband? I mean it's like scales, which is kind of cool. There's literally a col color called salmon. But you know, a lot of salmon still have like gray like silver. Oh, it's not really salmon-looking scales. I don't want a mohawk. I don't know, was this like the default one? I kind of like it, I think. I should probably change my stream title. Oh, okay.
Okay. This, like, they gave them some kind of Canton shit, but, like, it looks so out of place. I think I like this hair, to be honest. I guess it does make sense to give him, like, a salmon-colored thing. I don't know. I want kind of, like, a more natural-looking texture, I think. Or color, rather. Not terrible. Kind of interesting. I think either this or this. this. And I like the gold. I think I do want him to have a beard of some kind. So this affects... Oh, it does. Okay. Too bad you can't make the beard and the hair a different color. Because, I mean, people have that in real life. Like, even naturally. There's a lot of beard options. I was not expecting this many. Obviously, there's, like, the mustache all the joke characters use. I kind of like that. Yeah, the fucking joke mustache. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. That looks really weird. Like, it's kind of like, how does that even work? Like, what? what is with this? It's like a ring. He has like a beard piercing. Like... <laughs> what? What? How does that even work? That looks so weird. That really doesn't look good. That's kind of cute, but it's not really what I'm going for. I think I like him having, like, some braids, or just some, like... Yeah, like, I like that. I don't know, I might change the color. I don't know if I want him to look, like, elderly. I wish they had something like between these two. I don't know, I kind of like the black maybe. Yeah, I, I guess I wish they just had like a slightly darker brown that was like. Well, I guess this. Problem is, it kind of looks like he has like streaks. Like, dyed red streaks, and that's not really what I'm going for. I know there's more options if I use the hairstyle kit. I don't know if I want to. I feel like I need to change his eye color. I mean, it's going to anyways, but I feel like that'll pull everything together, maybe. I guess I'm leaning towards this hair color. You know, it would be funny if this changed his, like, chest hair color, too. So I kind of like that, maybe? I feel like I need to change this. I think I like the brown. I'm gonna go with that. 
seriously the darkest eye color? That's so, like, kind of fucked up that, like, can't get, like, certain natural eye colors. Like, you can't actually get really dark brown eyes unless you use the makeup kit. Like, that's actually really kind of fucked up when you think about it. Because that's, like, I mean, it's one thing to, like, not give you access to, like, certain, like, unnatural eye colors or, like, you know, you have, like, more variety of dark brown eye color, but the fact that- So I think it was like this with humans, too. Like, a c totally common, really normal eye color that, like, generally people of color have. Like, you have to pay extra to get it. Like, that's kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? Oh, well, the blue is kind of pretty. Like, on one hand, it's like, oh yeah, you can give him blue eyes because it's like the water and it fits for his character. On the other hand, like, I honestly feel like... Like... For humanoid characters like Norn or Human, or even like Asura, like I don't really have that many like darker skin characters. I want to have more. I kind of want him to like have blue eyes, I guess. The green is kind of nice. I could always use a total makeover. The brown is so like. Just like hazel, basically. 